Hello, 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 everybody. Uh, welcome to the Taco Society Rogue Company Duos Tournament. Um, I am here, hot on the mic, with my partner in crime, who does whatever he wants, uh, Renegade. Renegade, how are you doing today? I am great. Rude boy, I cannot wait for the uh, for the tournament to get started. Awesome, and uh, also with our uh, special guest on the mic as well, Hike Diesel. Hike, how are you doing today, brother? Good morning, fellas. I'm doing all right. Had a little bit too much fun last night, but I'm ready to watch some Rogue. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. And uh, yeah, we are uh, we are gonna be uh, getting it started here. It looks like uh, we have Necro and uh it looks like necro and uh lilith versus pussy power so we got hellspawn versus pussy power for the first match just getting that all set up right now what do you guys think about this match up here i think this one's gonna be really good i think this could be a, a nail biter match yeah, I think uh, I haven't really got to see Bex and Heartless play together. Um, we've done some custom stuff before, um, but I think it's it's. Uh, I'm just stoked for duos, man. It, it changes the dynamic of this game 100. percent You know, it's it's way different from a one on one situation. You have c communication between teammates. You have somebody watch your back. Um, I mean, even if we don't don't know the dy dynamics of the teams, you know, it's it's just going to be a whole different ball game today. Absolutely. Absolutely. I 100% agree with you on that. Yeah. Uh, so we have the hell spawn on one side, pussy power on the other. And really, no rules. The uh, play the objective. Uh, they are playing demolition. Also, with playing demolition, they uh, basically winner moves on uh, out of this 18 team tournament. So. We try the spectate mode real quick to see if it actually works or do we not? Let's try the spectate uh, mode real I... quick. Let's we try the spectate try mode real quick, uh, Renegade, and see if it'll work. Alrighty, starting these guys off. Here we go. Uh, yeah, the rules is just whoever wins um, moves on to the... Uh, Next thing, there are no point system. It's just as far as if you win, you move on. So here we go. Cross your fingers that this works. Yeah, we will see. If not, we will move it to the regular dynamic. Tried and through battle tested the way we were doing it Demolition. before. Demolition. Plant the bomb in either site. And I know we're all going to be really respectable competitors today with no type of uh, showboating because of the fact that you will be disqualified for this tournament. So far, so good with the spectate mode. And also on top of that, you know, a lot of people were concerned about the banning but the thing is, is that, um, you know, anything goes, you know, that's a part of the head game, part of the uh, strategy of how you play. So. Ooh. We've got Dima and Switchblade chosen by Team Hellspawn. We got Lancer and Dahlia by Pussy Power. Very interesting. I'll be the first to admit it, guys. I didn't do much practicing for this weekend. I got called in late, so I'm actually kind of doing some homework while I'm commentating right now. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. No worries. I'm going to see how this works out. Hopefully, this the uh, spectate mode will work. It doesn't, we will go back to our ulterior motive. So we will see. 
Looks like everything is working so far. On your left side, you've got Hellspawn. On your right side, you have Pussy Power. Here we go. And this is almost too good to be true. We actually have a, a smooth functioning game going on right now. Absolutely. What's going on? We are getting lucky with Rogue. I'm knocking on wood right now. <laughs> Amen. All right. We got pussy power on the map here. Oh, uh, we should probably tell them that we're spectating so they they can jump because they waited on the on the plane. Yeah, that's that's okay. They'll figure it out. They're big boys, girls. The great thing for us is we actually get to see the gamer tags in real time. Absolutely, I I agree. Yeah, we've been having uh, issues with the uh, the rogue company as far as um spectator mode so it looks like we got lilith playing the sneaky side with Bombs active. Find it and it. Ooh, Ooh, lilith gets taken there. out quick necro's got a beat on uh heartless right now taking some shots the bomb has been planted oh. Bex, Bex and Bex and uh, Necro in a good gunfight right now. Ooh, almost gets her. That bomb's about to go off. Ooh, oh. <laughs> Necro with a clutch, a clutch uh, kill on Bex. Oh, they might get a by bomb. Here we go. They crushed us. Oh, wow, no. Hellspawn takes the first point by bomb explosion. Crazy. That was a good was first a fight. That, that, that was a really good uh, You're with me. battle there. Man, there were some accurate pistol shots. That's it's oh man, it's a completely different dynamic. You are right. The one v one tournament. Completely Definitely different. right, man. That was that was some great shooting. It looks like they're pulling the uh, the uh, strategy where Lilith has been giving Necro the bomb and keeping control of it. So, whenever that continues to keep happening. As both teams start loading in. Still anybody's game. Looks like Heartless still has just the pistol right now. And Bex does have the objection F SMG for Dahlia right now. Looks like uh, Necro's going in a little fast. They meet Bex early. Bex guns Bex Necro down. Him down. Oh, oh my Coming God! Willis with a double oh. kill on the on the uh, the rocket launcher. Holy smokes! Wow. What a shot by Lilith there with that rocket launcher. Absolutely. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane with a double rocket kill. Craziness. Just perfect placement in that door frame. Yeah, you're right, right? man. Squeezing it right in there is just 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 the aim was just perfect you're right you can't take that away and Lilith knows how to play herself some switchbait it looks like having talked to Lilith that that switchblade tends to be her main so she Necro definitely knows going, the ins and outs. Necro heading to the a side a little bit more of an aggressive approach I mean that's a heck of a game changer right now because you can just sit back let them fight it out and Lilith could come up behind with that rocket and try to take them both out. Right. That's a heck of a game changer. Well, that rocket's just such a dynamic weapon, has the initial explosion damage and then it's, I think it was 20, 20 per tick. I mean, that's oh. a huge weapon. Necro baited. Oh. Necro baited oh, Bex and gets down. him with the grenade launcher. Heartless all by herself. 
We've been wiped out. Run and Necro wow. guns are down. These guys must have some great communication going on or what, but they are absolutely just doing work. They are definitely putting on a show right now. Yeah, they are doing phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. All right. Now the winner of this match goes on and faces the Toasty Ghosty right after that. So <sighs> these some some people have two matches back to back. Some people only have one match today. Let's see what Heartless and uh, Bex want to do here. Necro going on the aggressive side, going around on the other side right now, heading towards B. It definitely seems like Necro is being more of the aggressor these last few rounds. Looks like we got Necro oh, and... Gotta, got, gotta peek at Necro. Yeah, they don't know. They're playing the sneaky game, both of them. Oh, oh Heartless comes up behind him and guns him down. Both of them sneaking back there. The bomb's on that point. All they got to do is really cover that point now, which really puts Lilith in a uh, in a, oh. a, a difficult spot. Lilith oh, Lilith Heartless. did get Heartless with the, uh, the rocket. And Bex is hurt right now. Bex did get Heartless back up. Two on one. Heartless has no idea where she is. Out behind him now. Oh, they see her. Lilith guns her down again. Takes her out this time. Oh, oh on the crate on oh, top. Oh, and Bex guns her down. Bex guns her down from the top of a crate. Wow. Definitely played the elevation advantage on that one. Absolutely, and I Absolutely. think I think they knew that if if one of them got cleaned up with that type of uh, type of move, that they just kind of had to really cover each other. So, great great plan of attack, great strategy on that. So one thing that's good about having uh, Heartless is definitely got a a head uh, a, a good a partner with the. Uh, with her playing Dahlia because she has that that heal ability. Absolutely. Necker coming in with the uh, the bomb again. Yeah, they keep she Lilith keeps giving Necker the bomb, so I believe that that is their strategy right now. It looks to me like Necro's pushing and trying to rely on his gunning ability, and if he gets into trouble, I think that's where that rocket comes in. Absolutely. 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 You are one hundred percent right. And I kind of like that gameplay, to be honest. Yeah, Forces the other team yeah. out of hiding. And then you have yep. that massive rocket to, you know, clean stuff up if you get in trouble. Oh, that got a beat on Lilith there. Necro going for bomb plant. Enemies planted the bomb. Stop them. It's like Bex might be retreating a bit here. As they have an idea, yeah, Bex, is, Bex throws a grenade wild at Necro now. interesting they split up to draw they the team did, away yeah. from the plant site Necro coming around the side going for those one-on-one -on -one. oh, oh and and they got them both down. down wow there was some good gunfights on each side of the screen there wow that was insane it was absolutely ne insane necro is spot on without a rehearsal rifle this round yeah He's definitely, definitely showing his shooting ability. Oh, Necro looks like he purchased the Tomahawk. I think he might be going for a flashy, flashy kill here soon. So it's, we've seen some different gameplay, you know, the, the singles tournament was nothing but sneakiness almost always. Yeah. Um, we've seen aggressive play. We've seen split up play. Um, I mean, this is, I'm, I'm loving it, man. This is way better than the singles, uh, in my opinion. I, I think it's great because when you get in a, a, a look at kind of different competitors all at once, you know, and not to mention, you know, you have a, more abilities that you have to kind of feed off of to know 
who's going to use what. So it's a uh, it's amazing and Necker's got that tomahawk cocked and he is really really peeking on that other side. He's he's kind of going to a sneak route right now. Doesn't know Bex is right around on that other side. Oh, she doesn't see him. He's got her. Oh! She Bex, guns him down. Bex turned around at the right time. Lilith, Lilith shoots her rocket. Two on one. Looks like Heartless did throw her grenade trying to get her with that. Two on one. Oh, Heartless got oh, a peek at Lilith. Yeah, Lilith got a peek at Heartless. Does Beck, Beck know he's right there? Oh, oh two on one. Ah. Got her. Man. Well that was, played that, by that was awesome. That was such a good fight. We're attacking now. Hit him hard. Lilith, that was, that was a good fight. You, you, you did everything you could to try and, uh, try and get the advantage on that. All well right, we're done. switching up. Uh, Man, are between those two players, she had almost 150 damage here. between the both of them. Oh my goodness. Yep, we are switching now. Pussy Power will be in control of the bomb as Hellspawn will be defending. Man, what a good first six rounds. Phenomenal. A lot of these people did play in the uh, in the league, being in the one-on-one. -on -one, so you know that they're you're definitely feeling a little more comfortable now with, with having a teammate with them. Absolutely, yeah. They, they are playing phenomenal. The, the communication between both of them, I think you're just... Definitely, definitely on, on you know, on point and kind of having that person with you to, to have your back is just a, it's just an ultimate game chamber. So. Absolutely, it is. I think it'd be awesome once you do the actual YouTube upload, if we had a way to um, take the, the chat and overlay it so you could actually hear what was going on. Oh, yeah, that would be that would be It'd bring a whole other dynamic to a video be phenomenal i think the only way we'd be able to do that is if one of if somebody else was would be streaming at the same time so we could cut all the audio through it but or record their discord yeah. i mean you could re you could record your chat and then overlay it but yeah. i just i'm missing out man i wish i could hear these guys because you know they're on the they're on the horn and they're calling stuff out i Abs mean this is this is awesome absolutely oh, yeah. you know there's definitely a lot of communication going on and also, you know, you gotta kind of have to realize what, or you know, what what your uh, your your partner gonna do, especially like I never thought of like the scenario, like, hey, I've got the bomb, I'm gonna go this way, we're gonna plant this way, and do you want to split up? Do you want to have cover both areas? You know, like, I mean, what what do you like? How do you plan for stuff like that? I think depending on your team's abilities, you can do, you know, several different things. And I, I think we've seen a few of them, you know, from yeah. staying in a team and just trying to actually gun people down to splitting up to detract people away from your plant. I mean, there's it just duos brings a whole nother dynamic. I mean, there's so many different routes you can go with that. Looks like the bomb has got been a bomb planted. Plant. Yeah, bomb has been yep. planted. Lilith and Heartless are over here fighting it out. Necro is running across to uh, to catch. Kind of taking a slower approach though. Bombs at about half time right now. Lilith, I think, is running around. Heartless Caesar, waiting for the opportunity. Yeah, just fighting her off. Oh, oh they got them both. Her. They're getting ready to defuse the bomb. Necro came from the other side to clean up Bex. Wow. Mission failed. Well done. Oh, what a pinch. What yeah. a pinch. Uh, okay, so uh, that was that was an interesting play because both of them were both pinched up on top of that side of that that little carrier, and uh, you know Necro kind of came away the backside as uh, he uh, Lilith had the front, so it was kind of like they just knew where to go. That was definitely where. Uh communication from lilith to uh necro was definitely a, a big part in that one i think absolutely absolutely
All right. Heartless has the bomb. Let's see where she wants to uh, go plant this one. Vision, I'm sure, is in the same room with Lilith, and she's saying the communication is nuts right now. As, uh, looks like, looks like, uh, they're both kind of filling each other out. We got Necro kind of taking the slow approach. And the g pussy power is kind of grouped up a little bit, sneaking around. Definitely taking their time. Down to 40 seconds left until they have to plant that bomb. Kind of stinks. I'm seeing things about 10 seconds behind what you guys are right yeah. now. I'm trying to stay on the opposite side of a uh, of renegade here when I when I'm flipping. So they got 10 seconds to plant the bomb. They got to figure out where they want to go. Yeah, if they're gonna plant it. They got to do it quick. All right, last second plant. The bomb is planted as it's like it is on B. Yeah, bomb is on B. Lilith's racing around trying to get there. Bex is on the high ground here. Oh, got a peek at Necro. Fired a couple shots at him there. Necro throws his grenade on the other side. Oh. Necro going for defusal. Necker going for defusal. He's going to pull it off. He is. He's going to pull it off. He pulls off a slide defusal. That's got to just boil Bex's blood. I remember her coming in announcing with us, and she just goes, I want the gunfight. The bomb win is just absolute weak sauce. Oh, Bex is hot. She didn't hear that. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Bex is hot. I know she's hot right now. Oh, yeah. She isn't going to let that one go. All right. I wonder if got the uh, there again. was some gunfight going on to where she couldn't hear the beeps from the defusal. That could be, but man, she was, I know she's hot right now. Oh, I know I she's hot. We might need a post game interview for that one. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> right. All right. See where Heartless wants to go here with the bomb. Looks like they're going to try to make their way back over to B again. And uh, Necro is on that side of B, so Necro is, uh, he's gonna, he's gonna be on the way and, uh, kind of be on the lookout. I'm loving the aggressiveness from Necro. Absolutely. Because that's right yeah. up my alley. I Absolutely. feel like I'm playing right now. <laughs> Absolutely. Like got, got a peek at Necro there. Absolutely. So it looks like Necro and Lilith are split up right now. Yeah, they are peeking both sides watching. I think Necro's watching B and Lilith is kind of more watching A. Necro throws a grenade to kind of wonder if that was more of a distraction or a, uh, a noisemaker. Oh, oh, Necro's hurt. Necro leads him in for the rocket launcher. He's waiting, he's waiting, he's waiting. But no, they didn't chase. They didn't chase. The girls didn't chase. Bomb. bomb is planted. Bomb is planted, bomb. bomb is planted on B. Oh, looks like there's some gunfire going on over there at uh, Lilith's area. Bex had the high ground, but Necro was able to clean her oh, up. Oh, man. They got it. Lilith gunned down Lilith Heartless. Gun, gunned down Heartless, and it looks like Hellspawn will be here for the win, ladies and gentlemen. First win on the duos tournament goes to Hell Spawn. You guys played amazing. Well done. Can't wait to see more action. Good great, matchup. Great match. Great match. All right. And the next one up is Hell Spawn gets to play one more time against Toasty Ghosty. So we're calling. Toasty Ghosty coming in. 
Hey, Mitch, you want to bring in the girls for a little post game? Absolutely. Since we can talk to Hellspawn yeah, after yeah. this game, let's, since they're uh, playing again. Let's bring them in real quick. I think they're still in the. Uh, Do you want me to hop over and tell them to come over? Nope, I got it. All right. Hey, girls, you guys did amazing. You're a yes, fucking dick. Why? First game we won, and you put us against fucking Necro and Lilith. Uh, keep in mind you are being recorded <laughs> and watched, competitors. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I know. I like it's not meant to be a bad story. thing. Hey, 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 hey. Just want to let you guys know you guys did phenomenal. Bex, I got a question for you. How hot were you when Necro defused that bomb on that 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 round? I was fucking furious. I knew it. I absolutely oh, knew it. I was it. screaming. I was like, what the fuck? Who's fucking defused it? Yeah, I knew it. Knew it. Uh, Renegade, uh, Hike, do you have any questions for these uh, lovely competitors looks like we have them all in here no i, so, just, I uh, wish i could have been in chat to actually hear you guys because i know communication was wild between you guys and just yeah. having the bond that you guys you have guys you know fuck you <laughs> <laughs> yep yeah, that's what mean I it with the okay. best love gg uh fuck you both uh, right. However, <laughs> hold up, hold up. Yeah. However, I do have to say, the one kill I got against Necros, he was trying to plant that bomb. It was finally satisfying to kill his ass with nobody else's right. help. Heartless was like, yes, that's me done. I'm done. I'm out. <laughs> oh, I fucking needed okay. that shit. I fucking got him. That's all I needed in my life. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you guys. Uh, Lilith, Necro, you guys are up again against Toasty Ghosty. So, yeah. we good luck. Yeah. Good luck, Thank guys. You Ladies, you guys, you, played, you guys played love. amazing. See you guys soon. See ya. See you guys later. I knew that was going to happen as soon as I pulled her in. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, we did you think you were just going to get a calm interview there, Mitch? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. We okay. might have to have some beeps when we upload it to YouTube. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's okay. All right, so we got Toasty Ghosty here versus Hellspawn. One more time, they get to play each other. And Hellspawn, I'm trying to uh, trying to get no Toasty Ghosty. I think it was Ghost Matter and Toasty, if I remember correctly. So I got Ghost Matter here. I do not have Toasty. So, oh, where is Toasty at? I have Ghost Matter, and now... Ghost Matter, if you don't mind uh, inviting Toasty, because Toasty is never, has not sent me a friend request yet. Ah, there we go. We okay, got Toasty perfect. In. Here we go. We've got Toasty Ghosty and Hellspawn. Name real quick. Again, I've never seen Toasty Ghosty or Ghost Matter play. I, I've played against Ghost Matter. He's pretty good. He's really good, actually. I've never actually seen Toasty play. So these are one of our newer tacos that play Rogue Company. Um, pretty excited to see some some gameplay, see how they go. And uh really, really intrigued. I'm really, really intrigued on this. Um, I, I'm right there, boy. The interesting thing, too, is uh, Necro and Lilith just played, so I'm wondering if Ghosty and uh, Toasty were Taking watching notes. that. Yeah. Taking notes. Or if Lilith and uh, Necro are going to switch it up. Maybe Necro won't be as aggressive this round. Who knows? Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be interesting. It's uh, It's exciting. It is exciting. It is exciting. Uh, Ghosty is asking if you ban fair. Uh, they yeah, ban is all fair game. That's part of the mind games. You guys can ban whoever you guys want. Demolition. Plant the bomb in either site. Okay, as the competitors uh, select their name on who they are thinking about training with or playing with, 
Looks like we got Necro with Glitch, and Lilith, I think, is going to stick with Switchblade. Yep, she definitely did. Got an Umbra this time around, it looks Umbra? like. Umbra? Ooh, Umbra's got that nasty spider. Talon. Umbra and Talon. And Talon. Talon's got that dart awareness, so this is going to be a very interesting matchup. Very interesting. That spider can be killer, man. That is a rough spider. But they Everybody do have, hates that spider. Yeah, but they do have they do have glitch. So glitch can I think I believe can de uh disable it. So Yes, yes. If Glitch uses his special ability, it will destroy the uh the spider if it's played. So it's gonna be uh really, really, really this is gonna be a good fight. I think this is gonna be a great fight. Oh, So we just had somebody from chat saying that the spider can no longer be be uh, hacked while it's in mid use. Oh, that that is interesting. So before, that, if it was deployed, you could hack it and it would go away. Yeah, it would blow it up yeah. right away. Oh, so, wow. man, that's gonna be tough. That is gonna be a tough, tough uh, thing to fight, but. We'll see. As it looks like uh, Toasty is throwing his awareness beaker at the uh, side of A. Yep. And... Looks like he's just kind of trying to see if he can get a... Where are you hiding? Get a glimpse at him. As... It looks like yeah they he I didn't know he could throw he could retrieve that back too that's crazy that is you can sit it back and just it. check corners yeah from behind the crate. that is a whole oh, awesome strategy oh man neck right behind him but it's necro's gone pinched. Now. necro's pinched wow spider kill already Lilith's all by herself Lilith all by herself. No, it's gonna be a tough fight. Oh, man. Wow. That was just a great split up connection. I know there was some probably amazing, amazing chatter going on there. Oh, absolutely there was. I'm just still in awe that you can sit back and throw that thing halfway across the map and yeah, pick up radar. That is yeah. huge. Huge. Absolutely I had no insane. idea. Insane. Like I said, guys, I'm watching and I'm doing homework right now. <laughs> hey, can't say that I blame you, brother. Yeah, you have toast spelled wrong, rude boy. Just heads oh, up. Oh, do I? Oh, man. Epic fail. Let me, uh, let me get that change real quick. Let me get that like, change real quick. Looks like the, uh, toasty ghost team here is... <laughs> toasty ghosty. <laughs> Uh, they're kind of peeking both uh, both bomb sites right now. Oh, bro. Yeah. oh, he detected someone. Oh, we got toast here. He's getting pinned. Wow, that spider again. Friendly's eliminated. Oh, Dog's that spider's gonna, gonna be a problem. Ugh. That spider is gonna be a problem. Man, and you know, in actual other, uh, other as far as rogue companies, I know that there are at least 
I want to say four rogues they actually banned in like legit uh I want to say oh I don't want to say legit I mean, like actual world official tournaments I think Umbra a runaway Dahlia and Fixer all four of them are normally banned in uh as far as world tournaments but not in the taco society because we like to just have fun and play with whoever that's right why we're different than others sometimes people can't handle tacos that's right as it's like there was a little bit of a glitch now was that that was two kills by that spider oh my god and umbra just guns down ghost matter has just gunned down necro All oh my god the c4 Regroup. kill that was so sneaky that was so sneaky wow completely different play style from these guys absolutely it is big a lot of recon trying to figure out where their opponents are and then i mean it's it's spider and c4 i mean it's that's tough to combat and and, and they're and they're not staying together they're staying split up one goes to one bomb site the other one goes to the other i think that's just having faith in your teammate you know you're getting good recon to kind of know where your opponents are at and then you're just relying on your skills you know and if you get in a bad spot you definitely have your spider right. to fall back on so absolutely exactly. yes. necro coming in with the bomb here did do the uh the glitch gets a mini minute of peace at least without using the spider glitch taking that uh that slow approach lilith kind of peeking on the other side Ooh, Necro got a peek at Ghost Matter. Ghost Matter did not see him, though. He did not. That was his grenade. Still got about 30 seconds until a uh, bomb needs to be planted. The ghost matter is making his way over towards Toasty a it's little like bit. Bomb is starting. Bomb is getting planted for the first time here in this match. Spider is being Spider deployed. Spider is deployed. Oh, and get Lilith. you got Lilith, but it's over here. Oh, they're gonna run into him. Looks like they're going for the defuse. Ah. Uh. They got one. Oh, they got the defusal. Oh man, what a what a freaking the intensity is just unreal right now. That was that was good. That was that was intensity is unreal. Absolutely unreal. As uh, see a boat spawn here can uh, break this goose man. egg on the scoreboard here. These guys are, you can definitely tell, they are a team. They are a team. Man, they are playing really well. They are a team. Going with the, the, the same strategy that they've been using. Ghost Matter goes to B and Toasty goes to A. As Lilith's got a little bit of a little, I thought Lilith had a big oh, oh. Necro with the Necro first strike finally got toasty. somebody. Nice job, Necro. <clears throat> Lilith, Necro plant the bomb. They have two one right now. Lil Lilith really covering the corner to watch both sides. Enemies have armed the bomb. Disarm it. This matter is taking his time here. Death approaches. 
Looks like he's going for the spider. Spider deploy. is out. Lilith, Lilith gets out of the spider just barely. Oh, two on one. Oh, they crushed him. Oh, oh Lilith with my. a great what rocket a to clean shot. him up. Woo! What a shot! Wow! <laughs> Holy smokes! That was look awesome. at the fire path on that rocket. I mean, look at the radius. That's just huge. Wow, it was so good. So good. Those is getting deadly accurate with that uh, that God, rocket shot. Man, she's got just nuts of a shot on the rocket. I think Necro and Lilith kind of picked up on the fact that those guys were splitting up. So I think they're trying to isolate one of them and then, you know, go from there. I think, uh, yeah. Yeah, that would be a really good play. As, uh... Ooh, Toasty's hurt with that grenade from Necro. And he's got him peaked with the glitch. Looks like Ghost Matter's kind of coming over a little bit himself. Necro knows he's over there. Who wants to peek at first? Spider out. Can hear it. Ah, oh, I didn't get it in time. Oh no, behind the hill oh, with a C4 and get some oh, balls. Wow. wow, that C4 is so brutal. Get them both with one C4. Wow. Now the bomb switches sides. Toasty Ghosty will have the bomb as Necro and Lilith will be defending Hellspawn. Very, very, very good match. Oh, Toasty switched it up and went to Phantom now. Alrighty. How are they going to play the bomb now? This is going to be an interesting way, man. We've seen a lot of different, um, a lot of different, uh, strategies as far as playing it. So. So what ability does, uh, Phantom have? Phantom has yeah, a when you link up. What's the passive of uh, passive ability when you link up with the your teammate when you're using that rogue? Uh, well, Dahlia is the one that has that ability. Um, I it, it all depends on what like what ability you are, but uh, the special for Phantom is the uh, electric smoke stuff that she can see through. Yeah, she has oh, an EMP you. grenade. Is what I'm uh, thinking of the wrong rogue. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. There's so many. It's hard to keep track of all of them. Looks like they're taking the slow approach here. They're making their way to B, it looks like. Yep, and it looks like... Uh... The thing is, is there's got to be a way to combat that, that spider a little bit better. Like, if, if they took it away from Glitch, like, who can... Who can get rid of it right away? So this way it doesn't, you know, have that bad of an effect. I mean. So as uh, Ghost Matter and Toasty are going to be, it looks like. Enemies have armed the bomb. They plant the, the bomb. The smoke, use the smoke to kind of, to yeah, give them some cover there. Spiders spider deployed. come. Oh, that's so dirty. That spider is... Oh, he did kill him. He did get the spider, but he is hurt. Oh, man. Turn the corner and...
Toasty was up on top, peeking. It's all up to Lilith now, two on one. Well, she's got the high ground. You know she can do wonders with that rocket, though. Yep. Oh, oh she fired, fired it. it. Oh, hey, man, what down. a fight. What a fight. Enemies are on match point. I'm thinking the way on this map to combat the spider is just to take high ground. I know the spider can I, jump, but some of those right. crates are pretty tall. Um, there's a couple maps that don't have anything that's really that tall, so. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. The crates might come in very handy on this to combat that spider. Absolutely, I agree. I absolutely agree with you. But on the same hand, if you're standing on top of a crate looking down trying to find a spider, you know, it leaves you open to be gunned down by your teammate or the opposing teammate. So right. it's kind of a catch-22. I mean, I think there's, that's, it's, it's that way with everything, though, you know. Yeah, yeah. As, uh, and we've got the pros and cons. We are, we are uh, Toasty Ghosty on match point here with uh, Necro taking the slow approach again. Looks like... Lilith is peeking a corner, oh. watching around. Gunfight with Necro, throws Necro the grenade. Gone. He's got him glitched. Going around on the other side, really protecting that side. Will they continue to keep pushing or will they go to the other side now? Who wants it? Can they, can they, can they fight them off? Looks like Toasty might have taken a little bit of a high ground approach. Fighter coming out. Chasing down Lilith with it. Did get Lilith. Necker going around. It's two on one. Toasty with that sniper. Oh, oh, she's hurt. oh and Toasty oh. Ghosty cleans him up. You guys. Had an amazing match. Well done, you two. You four. Good job. Good job. Good job. That spider is is absolutely just brutal. It is. It was definitely a game changer there. Alrighty. Heading into the next match here. We've got the flaming cats and the no names. So Flaming Cats and the No Names coming in. I believe Gabs is on the Flaming Cat side along with Phoenix, if I remember correctly. It's like we have the Toasty Ghosty boys in the chat. If we want to ask them some questions Absolutely. about the round. Welcome in, guys. You guys played phenomenal. How would you guys feel about that? Thank you. We're, very we're good, happy. very good. Yeah, did that... not expect to be so, 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 oh, so that it's, yeah. it's stressful. <laughs> it's, it is a very different environment when you're in this uh, two on two, especially the one on one, but the two on two, uh, the two on two was absolutely, uh, that was, it was great gameplay, guys. You guys did phenomenal. Yeah. Absolutely great. Yeah, it was cool. It was cool. The other team, too. Yeah, yep. I, yeah, I think game. they did not like my spider though. Yeah, that spider is brutal. <laughs> that spider is absolutely brutal. And uh, you know, we kind of wanted it to be kind of you know everybody to have fun, so kind of be anything goes. But uh, in normal tournament cases, the uh, uh, Umbra Fixer, um, Dahlia, and I believe uh, what did I say, Umbra Fixer, Dahlia. There's one other rogue. They're actually banned from like world play, but. We don't care about that because we're tacos. So we didn't. Oh, okay. It's okay. No, it was great. You guys, you guys had a lot of fun. Uh, Necro, I see you popped in here again, man. You did phenomenal. Well done. Well done. I hit that spider with a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. After a few rounds, I was like, I think they're gonna eat the spider. <laughs> but honestly, after after the second play, I was like, ah, oh, goddamn that spider. I was like, I hate it so so much. Yep, you guys did phenomenal, and uh, Toasty Ghost, you guys will continue on to next week's match. I will let you know when the times are. Lilith, uh, good job, guys. You guys did great. Yeah. 
All right. Thank GG you again. Guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank we'll see you guys. guys. We'll see you guys next week. We will see you guys next week. Sweet. Peace out. Bye. Bye. See you guys. Okay. And uh, here we go. Um, Miss Miller, we just need to get her partner in here. Hey, I'm, I'm here. I'm in your chat. Oh, hey. How you doing? Hey. Good. How are you? Good. Uh, are you are you uh, are you Miss Miller's uh, partner? Yes. Okay. Um, if you guys want to do like your own uh, chat, that'd be that'd be sweet. Yeah, yeah. Um, um but see. if you want to just jump in with her, um, that'd be great. We just don't want to talk over you while we're announcing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, I was, just, I was trying to see what, what the deal was. So, so <laughs> if you guys want to get in your own chat, we're happy that you guys are here though. Awesome. Um, um, but I'll put you guys in squad one if you guys if you guys don't mind. Okay. Sounds good. Sweet. Alrighty, um, Miss Miller, I just need you to invite your friend in so we can uh, we can get him in here. So if you just invite him in, and uh, we will uh, we'll get you all we'll get you all ready to go. Yeah, Miss Miller, if you just want to invite him in uh, so we can yeah, get him in the game, that'd be exactly. great. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to. Alrighty. So while they are working that out, guys, um, like I said we've got a we've got a great, great matchup here of tons of matches already on our way. Lilith with that rocket, man. That rocket was absolutely just on point. Mm -hmm. Anytime she, I don't want to be behind that rocket. That was a scary rocket. It was. It really was. So. Phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal play. It was just such a good, good day for Rogue. Day for Rogue. All righty. So we got Darth in here, and we've got the No Names versus the Flaming Cats. I get the uh, get that change. Now, I've played with, I've played with Phoenix and Gabs, and I've definitely played with Miss Miller before. Um, Miss Miller and Miss Miller's a sweat. Miller is, she is. absolute really is. sweat. Um, and then uh, uh, Gabs, Gabs, Gabs is pretty good at the game too. Is not not shy, and Phoenix is pretty good as well. Um, but but uh, this is gonna be a great match. I I I really am exciting to see this this match here. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a good one. Definitely think it's gonna be a good match. All right, we've got the flaming cats on the left side. We've got the no names on the right. Here we go. Demolition. Plant the bomb at a site. <coughs> Alrighty, here we go. Gonna be a good, good matchup. And let's see here. We have next on deck. We've got spicy taco and the starches. <sighs> spicy taco and the starches. And, uh, God, I can't wait for this matchup. This is going to be an amazing, amazing matchup. Flaming Cats on the left side. No names on the right. I think I'm, I'm pretty sure that Miss Miller's favorite character is Dahlia. So. All right. Here we go. We got... Phoenix and Gabs. Gabs going with Slitchblade. Phoenix going with uh, Phantom as 
It looks like uh Miss Miller Ray is Kestrel, Kestrel and then her her partner is Talon. Alrighty, here we go. And I know there's been some uh, debate in the chat. A lot of people does say that Phantom has the best booty. I mean, I'm just saying. You know. Ike, you still there? Do we lose you? Ike might have stepped away for a minute. As, uh... We've got them running together here. Gabs and Phoenix on the same side. Miss Miller, and it looks like, uh... Darth taking a spread-out approach. Yeah, Up on top. Are. Runs in All early. Wow! Oh. Oh, that was quick! Whoa! That was insanely quick! Miss... Miller with the uh, the ulti baiting him in. That was that was crazy. That was crazy. That was nuts. I honestly did not expect uh, gaps to go with switchblade. Honestly, that threw me off. I figured she would probably go Lancer or Ronin. Yeah, I kind of did too. Sorry, guys, I had to step away for a moment. You're good, man. You missed a very fast, quick round. Extremely fast, quick round. Gabs has the bomb here this time. Miss Miller did an amazing bait with that, with the, uh, with the, her ulti, the, the little, like, wings or birds she shoots out, whatever they are. Like, uh, Phoenix is going so with the uh, Phoenix going with the sniper route, kind of taking slow game a little bit. As as uh, they're grouped up together here, Gabs Looks with the like, rocket um, cocked and ready. Looks like Miss Miller is kind of coming up behind him here. Wow, Miss Miller's behind him. What a smart play! He's got the exploding drones going off! Lots of action going on, pushing her around! We've been wiped wow! Out. Man, her down. is this team real? Holy smokes! They're definitely trying to put the pressure on uh, the Gabs team here. Those radar reveals were huge. Oh my goodness, you're not lying! Wow! Insane. Absolutely insane. If you, you, if you guys do like uh, the action in the tournament you see, definitely come be a part of the Taco Society. We are doing events like this all the time. Get involved, connect with somebody, and uh, enjoy and have fun. As... Uh, Gabs and Phoenix are kind of more running together, though. They are having the uh, kind of the uh, the I got your back, you you got my back. Definitely being a lot more tactful this time. They yeah. kind of rushed up, but they're being really really sneaky this time. Oh around. my God! C4 oh, kill didn't even see life. it. Coming in, rushing. Friendly's eliminated. Jesus. Jesus. Them up. Look at these two. Wow. Wow. Jesus. <laughs> Man. I was Holy not smoke. lying. Miss Miller is a sweat. Like, so this is the first time I've ever seen Darth play, but I knew Miss Miller was a sweat. Oh. You've had the privilege of playing with her a couple times, haven't you, Mitch? I have, man, and she carries me all the time. She really <laughs> does, man. I'm not lying. Like, when we when we look at the scoreboard, she usually has, like, 58, 59 kills and a strikeout, and I'm sitting at a oh, mere, man. like, 30. So, she is, she is amazing. 
Yeah, I, I usually get to play with her during the days and I just miss out on that, unfortunately, but I've watched some of the streams and she she definitely is, is good. And I've never played with Darth, so like it's it's phenomenal to to see some new new blood in here. Yeah, not even just this match, but I mean, a lot of new faces in the tournament today, so. Absolutely. Oh, well, looks like uh, Phoenix might have uh, have that Tomahawk going for that kind of flashy kill. Oh, Miss Miller seen him. They're grouped up. One's going on the other side. Gab's going for bomb and oh what my God, Darth got him with the C4. Oh my goodness! Wow! Woo. Holy smokes! Wow! What do you do? Like, what kind of adjustments do you make to try and try and uh, combat this? At least to get a, uh, you know, you got to get that one win, that 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 one win round on the scoreboard to kind of make you feel just a little confident. But right now, they just—I don't feel like they have an answer right now. Yeah, I, you, I don't know. I, I think some tactics might need to be uh, switched up a little bit. Phoenix and Gabs are running together, so... It's just tough. When you have the bomb to plant, you know, you have the dynamic of not only planting the bomb, but being aware of where your opponents are at. Um, in that last fight, it really looked like, you know, they, they heard exactly where they were at. So I think, you know, sound is coming into play massively. Um, but it's just, I don't know what you switch up when you have somebody that, you know, has a C4 game that good and they can hear you coming. Alrighty, and it uh, looks like, yeah, they are still running together. So I wonder if Miss Miller and Darth are kind of picking up on that. Like, hey, they are running together, so... If you call one out, you know you got to rush over for backup, so... Miss Miller has a peek on Phoenix here. Didn't take the shot. Looks like she's going to try to come up behind him here. Maybe that's smart. Maybe since she did get the peek and if she didn't get seen, maybe she is calling Darth over now. Wow, the teamwork. That one. They're just that. pinching them. And then comes them. down the other. I mean, if you looked at that match there, it looked like they basically pinned them to that corner and they basically had nowhere to go. So they're just kind of yeah. like more or less pinching them. You know, that communication is just absolutely key right now. Let's see if Gabs and her partner can get a dub in here. All these new faces are making me kind of sweat my match. <laughs> yeah. Because my opponents, I have no idea who they are. And I mean, to, based on the gameplay I've seen today, you know, I, I kind of felt fairly comfortable and I knew a lot of the people I played and now that's completely out the window. Yeah, I remember uh, you are being Miss Madness's champion today. So I, I heard, I did hear that. So Miss Madness yeah, was the, your champion. I have the pleasure of uh, stepping in for her, you know, returning the favor that she did for me, and I'm teaming up with Visions, but uh, we're playing Mommy. I have no idea who they are. All new for me as well. Oh, looks like Miller, uh, Miss Miller. Darth has is a hurt. Up. Darth is a little hurt. Somebody's, oh. Uh, I think the game is glitched out. We're getting a massive amount of fire right now. <laughs> I just heard a machine gun just unloading. Looks like Darth might be trying to uh, make his way back behind Gabs and her uh, her teammate. Oh, Gabs looks like she's gunned down. She's uh, she's low. Ooh. See that Miller Miller Ray is down. Miss Miller Ray is down Friendly for the first time. That's all right. Gab, Flaming Cats Gab pick up a Phoenix. win. That's got to be a little bit of momentum. We're attacking now. Hit him hard. Definitely a confidence booster. Well done. Well done. Well done. Yeah. The first time uh, they put him on the heels. Uh oh, Miss Miller is bringing. Oh man, I love Dallas. 
Zulu's bringing out Dallas. Bringing out Lancer this time. Oh, Darth going Umbra. with the with Umbro with the spider. Woo. And Those a runaway. Like everybody's changing it up. Everybody's going going with the uh, a different rogue this time. And the chat is calling for Hike Diesel to say something in chat. I'm in here. <laughs> the, you guys want to hear me? The ladies are calling your name, brother. I know. I know. I, know. <laughs> I feel. I feel like it's my first day of middle school, and I'm, I'm. I'm just sweating. You know, trying to impress all the ladies here. <laughs> oh man! All righty. So Mitch, was this map a random draw? Uh, this was not. So we did do a Taco Society uh, Rogue Company League, and the winner of that league got to choose this map. So this map was chosen by Aqua Stone, who was the winner of the map. Uh, That's right. So that is why this map has been chosen for the tournament. Um, and then, you know, later on, we may be able to uh, incorporate some... Uh, some variety. Uh, I would like to do a duo's league, I think, because this way it would give more individuals having, you know, time to play with their partner, kind of filling things out. Looks like bomb was planted. Bomb was planted. Looks like. Oh, man. I see one of them. I have a feeling Miss Miller might be wrapping around. They're running out of time. Bomb's about to go off. Death approaches. Spider is deployed. Buster. Gab's using her speed to get around. They're running out of time for that bomb. Oh! <clears throat> Sticks Miss Miller in the back, but blows herself up! Gabs blew herself up. She found Miss Miller and found her, but then blew herself up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Enemies are on match point. That one hurts a little. Oh, they could have had that. Wow. I guess in that situation, you just feel like you got to throw that grenade because you have to run to the bomb. You really don't have time to, you know, get in a gunfight. Yeah, so I, think, I, under I, I understand her logic there. It just didn't just didn't pan out, unfortunately. I think I think she just got a little uh, trigger happy or nervous. But that's OK. All righty. Like I'm sure you guys can relate. It's easy to sit back and say should have, would have, could have, you yep. know, but it's oh, different absolutely. when you're in the heat of battle. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, you got to realize, like, even when you watch, like, real sports nowadays, you know, like, you see something that the players on the court or whatever you're watching, whatever sport, don't see. So it, it could be one of those scenarios, too. Like, you know, you see your favorite team going, well, why didn't they run to the left? Well, they can only see, you know. So much Stop of the them. field at one time. Like the bomb has been planted. This bomb one. was planted. Darth guns down uh, Gabs here. It's up on top. Oh, oh man. Wow. What a match. Good match. Good match. The team of the no names, the outlaws, are moving on. Flaming Cats, you guys played very well. Well, well done. Well played by everyone. Well played. Absolutely. Absolutely. While we get things set up, we're going to bring in uh, Darth and uh, Miller. Hey, guys. Congratulations. You guys did phenomenal. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Now, were you guys, was there a specific strategy you guys were kind of playing off of, or did you guys just more or less kind of just, just wing it? Uh, we've been practicing a bit, so we had a, a couple of plays in mind. Nice. I yeah, you guys. Same place, so. 
You guys did Gabby. phenomenal. You guys did I mean, great. Like, you scared the crap out of Gabby. And I, <laughs> oh, I, I bet you scared Gabs because I know when, when well, Gabs, she threw that grenade on you about that last last round or second to last yeah. round. And, and then it, I downed myself. And she blew herself up. <laughs> But, as soon as I was like, no, she stuck me, and then I rolled to the side, and I got her, too. And I was yeah. like, the, the, one round, the one round we did win, I was, like, terrified, because I almost <laughs> emoted on accident. <laughs> and uh, I was like, oh, no, no, no. It's all right. You guys did phenomenal. Thank you guys for playing. Uh, we'll have the, uh, for you guys, I will have the uh, the next rounds out for next week. I'm not sure if we'll be finishing the tournament next week or the week after, but I'll keep you guys posted depending on how many games we have that day. So We're just playing one game today then? Uh, yeah, today's just one game as of right now. Um, like I said, I may push it if we can possibly push it to try and finish it up next week because I want there to be kind of like enough games to pull out the length of time. But if if it comes up to being too much, then there, it'll go into a three day tournament. So we'll see what happens. But yeah. you yeah. guys did phenomenal. Thank you guys so much, both of you. And we will see you guys next week for sure. Killer game, oh. million skips. GGs. GGs. Bye bye. Bye. Alrighty, moving into the next uh, the next game here. We've got. Spicy tacos, which consist of uh, I am here today and Sosa Flea. Uh, versus honestly, I, 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 oh, go ahead. I wish the oh, no, not you. Oh, sorry, <laughs> you okay? Okay, <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on. All right. Uh, as, uh, we've got Sosa Flea and I am here today versus D1 Couch Potato and his partner. Now, D1 Couch Potato, I know that, uh, that he may have been having to find a sub. So it is going to be relying on these two to kind of get in here and play. Waiting for them to come in and play. Uh, guys, come on in here and uh, let us know if you're in chat so you guys can join. Hot potato. We're waiting for hot potato to come in. Hot potato, are you around? Now, rules of tournament. If they do not show up, I am here. I am this today, or I am here today. He goes by. I am here on Twitch. He goes by. I am this today on Rogue. Um, and Sosa Flea will get a buy into the next week if they do not show up. And we will move on to the next match. Lots of uh, lots of congratulations going on in chat as far as uh, people playing. Appreciate awesome. it. Love to see that. Love to see that. And as everybody knows, we're all tacos. We're all family. We will give him a, we will give him a, a little bit more time here, um, and I will start the timer if we don't hear anything by hot potato. 
Really, it'd be really, really, uh, it's really sad if we, I mean, congrats for Sosa and this today to be here, but uh, it'll be really sad if, if uh, you know, nobody gets to, we don't get to see this greatness, uh, this greatness of a team playing. So... I did message uh, Couch One Potato, see if he is going to be here. So we will see what happens. Next up on deck is the Flying Dutchman. And. Oh, I just got word. I just got word that the starches are forfeiting their match. I just got word that the starches are forfeiting their match. Oh no. So <clears throat> congratulations. I, I am this today in Sosa Fleet. If you guys want to come in for a little interview, I know that's not the interview that you uh you want. But if you guys do want to come in for a little bit of interview while we set up the next match, you're more than welcome. But congratulations to I Am This Today and Sosa Flea for moving on to the next round. We are going to go ahead and move on to the, uh, the next one will be the Flying Dutchman and the Machampions. And I believe the champions consist of Seabert, I believe, if I remember correctly. And I do believe that was one of them. Seabert and Seabert and Moss. So we'll be sending out the invites right now. Aqua, you have an invite. Gomac, I don't see you on. Oh, yep. Gomac, you have an invite. And I will be sending out Moss and Siebert. Don't see you guys on. Where are you at? Siebert and Moss. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's that. Let's see what we got here. Seber and Moss just got back from the shower. All right. All right. I, uh, we are starting your guys' match here. So get on in here if you're going to play. It kicking from that custom lobby. By yeah, the way. I, I ended it. I ended it. Oh, oh okay. Uh, Renegade. All right. And I've got Aqua and Gomac versus Ebert and I'm looking for Moss. I don't have Moss up right now. Ebert, can you invite Moss? We are. We did end up getting way ahead of schedule. Nothing wrong with that. Way, way ahead of schedule. Which is great. Gives us a little bit of time to, to be some leeway. Guys, the matches are phenomenal right now. You guys have been playing absolutely phenomenal. Appreciate you all for making this happen. And again, if you guys are interested in wanting to be a part of a road company tournament or league in the future, definitely come be a part of the Taco Society. Uh, we do uh, take care of all streamers, no matter what you play. Have fun, connect, and have a good time. So, 
while we're waiting for Moss, I'm going to take a quick break. That is sure. okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I love that name, the Machampions. That's a good name. A funny name. It reminds me of like Mach Machamp, like from Pokemon. Sosa and I am this today. You guys will move on to the next round per team forfeiting. So well done. Well done. Well done. Ike, you still here with me? Maybe. I brought you with me on my little break, so I'm still here. Okay. All right. We'll we will uh we will go ahead and start this match. Here we go. We've got uh, Aqua Stone and uh, Gomak as the Flying Dutchman on your left side. Seber and Moss on your right. Here we go. Yeah, buddy. Sorry, I'm still here with you guys. No worries. Aqua, Aqua, the league, the Taco Society League champion. Demolition. Plant the bomb Looking to try and add the duos underneath his, uh, his, uh, his repertoire. Is a resume. See who who people are going with. This is exciting. Who's going with who? Sosa, uh, due to due to uh, the starches forfeiting, you will move on to the next round. That's that's all there is to explain. I don't I don't have anything else, buddy. Sorry. You and you and today will move on to next week. You win. Congratulations. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Looks I mean, like I'll trade you, Sosa. <laughs> Seber Seber uh Seabird goes with Chalk, and it looks like Moss going with Glimpse. Aqua's going with Runaway, and Gomak going with Lancer. This is an interesting pairing. We haven't seen Chalk yet today. We have not. We haven't seen Chalk or Glimpse today. Two, oh, yeah, we haven't seen, yeah. Two new ones. Uh, Glimpse has that ability to go invisible. Chalk has that ability to either self-revive himself or use it for like in an adrenaline boost to where he gets a little bit more extra health and armor. So gonna be uh gonna be real real cool to see um how we do it. We got Gomak and Aqua, the flying Dutchman on your left side, and we've got Glimpse and Chalk, the champions on your right. It's okay, so it's okay, man. Alrighty. Looks like Aqua's gonna be sticking with the bomb right now. Aqua, we all know Aqua. He is a sweat. We know how good he is. So are Moss and Seabird new tacos? Uh, uh, Seaver, uh, yeah, I would say so. Yeah, Seaver, we met Moss through Gabs and Phoenix and Yucky, and Seaver, we met through Patio Appliance. So, fairly new, fairly new. Awesome. And, uh, Gomac peeking up over the side. Seaver just kind of on that other side there. Now, the individuals cannot see their names. We just get a good look at where they are. Looks like Moss is trying to flank coming up behind Aqua and Gomac here. Aqua looks like he may be going for bomb plant. Seaver. Seaver sees both of them. Moss guns down, down Aqua. Oh my, oh my god, right, right away! Woo! Wow. That what was quick. Play by Moss there. That was quick. Wow. Holy smoke. 
Moss completely went around the outside of the map and came up behind Gomak and Aqua there. And I didn't think about that. With that invisibility, she'll be able to do that. I think even being invisible, though, you can still hear footsteps if you're running, though, right? Yeah, but she also does have ability called padded steps. So if she's not running, you can't hear the footsteps. Right, which she's... wouldn't be active in the first round, but it may come into play later in. Absolutely, I agree. It looks like uh, Open for it looks like uh, from my point of perspective here on the left side, like Seber and Moss kind of split up a little bit. As they did in the first round too. Now I played with Moss and Seber before, and uh, they are sweats as well. They are really, really good. Uh, Seber is phenomenal, and I just played with Moss the other day, and she was she was just as good, man. So we got got some crazy good teams right now. And Aqua, Aqua we've too. seen we've seen Aqua carry himself alone against three three on one many of times so aqua aqua can definitely do it and gomac is a great support man great easy to call things out really well it's like moss is going with that same strategy to try to come up behind him again looks like uh aqua is going for bomb plant now keep in mind aqua did choose this map so there's got to be a reason. Find it and defuse it. Bomb is active. Go Mac down already. Oh. Two on one. Aqua sees him coming around the tunnel. Gonna try to wrap around. Did not officially get him down. Aqua's on the run. Coming around the side and, and they clean him up as they and turn around and down. defuse the bomb. Moss and Seaver have come to play. Wow. It's just tough. Anytime you have two people. Two on one is so brutal. And Aqua did everything he could to keep on his own. And way, way to fight him off, Aqua. Way to fight him off. Would it be, I mean... Well, would it be something if you knock out the the uh, the champion like in the league like right away? I mean that would be like Obviously Moss and, and Seabird right now would be definitely the underdogs at the moment, but I, I would definitely uh, Definitely would be something I would be gunning for if I was uh, Moss and Seabird take out the uh, the top guy from the uh, The rogue league that we did As uh, Aqua's going the creep route. Looks like uh, Gomak has the bomb this time. See, Aqua's got some claymores now, so he's got a little extra support. That is definitely going to. Oh, oh Aqua's in a jam. He's hurt. Aqua's he guns down. Guns him down. Gomak two on Crushed one. Gomak gets right guns down two. Oh, what a team, Seabert guys. Came to play. You guys better be doing some homework because Seaber and Moss are for real. Wow. I feel like these that really escalate quickly, like uh, this specific matchup. Yeah. All the other ones kind of played out a little bit, but I mean, this goes zero to 100 in 10 seconds, and I mean, the match is over. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. There's a lot of aggressive play by both teams. Even even the, even the, uh, the chat is a little amazed on what is happening. Okay. The oh. between Aqua, and Aqua is met up. Different. Aqua met early with uh, with uh, Moss. Moss did use her invisibility. Looks like she got away a little bit. Aqua still got a glance. Seaber, Seaber and Aqua have our Seaber and Moss have Aqua pinched a little bit. Gomac is down. Gomac down. Oh, here oh, we go. Seaber and Aqua. Seabird Aqua, here we go. One on one fight. We knew we were gonna get a couple of these today. Uses special to heal himself back up. 
Probably this is where really this is where there. Aqua's deadly though. Aqua's got a little bit of high ground. He's got that. Oh my God! Look how fast he moves. He moves so fast. And he, and he knows how to get those angles. The angles that he can get on people is just what ridiculous. What do you think the play is right now? Do you do you just try to wait them out as much as you can so they can't plant the bomb, or do you go for the kill? Oh my God! Siebert's got him hurt. Aqua does the. Uh... Does the uh, oh, the claymore to uh, Aqua's playing on the bomb? Aqua couldn't get the bomb plan off, man. What a match! What a match! Can't get the bomb plan off. Up on top, Seaver. Oh like man, Aqua oh, pulls Aqua it off. Down. Holy smokes! Yeah. What a fight! What a fight! That That's was gotta feel amazing. good. That had to feel good. That had to feel yeah. good. That match had everything, man. The 70, 70 HP shot on the elbow when you could just see that. Plants to Claymore, you know, fake plants a couple times to try to draw him out. Holy smokes, man. That's that's top Kudos. tier play right there. That was that was phenomenal. Absolutely great play, man. Phenomenal, Aqua. Phenomenal. Well done. Well done. What a match. You guys are doing phenomenal. Absolutely. The, the, giving the crowd what they want. And I think in that one-on-one -on -one situation, when you have the bomb, you kind of have to go for that kill because you, you know, you don't really have enough time or protection to plant that. Oh, Siebert you know. stuck oh, Aqua wow. right away with the grenade. Oh, what? And just destroyed him. I think Siebert knows how to play baseball because that came out a hundred miles an hour. <laughs> Holy <laughs> smokes! <laughs> wow. I mean, but I know a guy named Hike Diesel that could eat that pitch for lunch, honestly. <laughs> Easy. Easy. I'm putting it out 425 over left field. Yeah, easy. Easy. <laughs> Man. Good throw by Siebert. My hands are sweaty just watching this. <laughs> this is a match, man. Holy you smoke. have the champ up 4-1 right now. I mean, you gotta be thinking dub. Absolutely. If you're not, you're crazy. The side switch is gonna be intense though. I mean, totally different dynamic. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what characters they pick when they switch. Absolutely, it'll be definitely interesting. And usually, uh, usually Aqua's a hell of a runaway. I mean, I say it all the time when I'm when I'm playing that any runaway is a good runaway. Like, I just, she's my nightmare. Like, bombs getting planted. They went for the quick plant easy. Aqua's putting down some claymores. Oh, Claymore. yeah, wow. Aqua got nice a box. nice, nice beat on Moss. Real, Moss trying to play sneaky. Seaver is up in the back. Two on one. Seaver, Seaver and Go, go Max down. We got Seaver Aqua one more time. Aqua's got more of the range. Oh, two shots with the. Seaver's hurt. Action's happening so fast. You can't even call it, ladies and gentlemen. He's going for bomb plant. Oh. He might run out of time. He might run out of time. Push it. Oh my God. He, he gets down him. Aqua. He just comes around the side and gets him. Wow. Holy smokes. Holy smokes is right. Man, that grenade that just barely clipped the side of that crate, I think was the game changer in that one. I think if Aqua gets that grenade just to go past that crate, he's low on HP. You know, that ends that round. Aqua going with Sigrid this time as Moss sticking with the glimpse. Sigrid has that shield that's pretty hard to combat. Wow. Secret staying with uh, Chalk. Chalk is a monster right now, man. Gomek going with Trench. That's not a bad idea. Looks like Moss and uh, Seabird are sticking with the same characters they had in the first half. I think that adrenaline shot for Chalk almost doubles your health, doesn't it? Uh, I believe it, it gives. It is, a, 
It, is, it is a health boost, and it also gives you unlimited ammo for a brief period. I mean, that's huge in itself, you know. I think Chalk's just kind of known for the self-revive, but people really don't take into consideration that, that health boost along with the unlimited ammo. I mean, that's huge, especially if you're in a one-on-two situation where you don't have time to reload. You're right. Yeah, you get unlimited, you get unlimited ammo until you get down. Man, Saber and Moss are just absolutely just, ugh. All right, Aqua with Cigarette here. A little bit different strategy, has that massive shield. This might be a, this might be a, I, I've never, actually, I don't think I've ever seen Aqua play Cigarette, so. I'm kind of excited yeah, I, to see how this goes. Definitely a different character choice for Aqua. Aqua pushes up quick, and I think he caught a glimpse of one of them crossing that bridge. Watch out, Moss is coming in. Oh, Moss sees yeah, Moss sees it. All right, took care of Moss. Moss is down. As uh, Seabrick coming around the side, Aqua's got a peek. Shields out. He's running, he's running, he's running. Trying to heal up. Chalk still has the bomb. Or Cerberus still has the bomb. Oh, oh man, that, that shield, shield is ridiculous. Woo, man. Wow. Just nudges him with the shield. Take that. Take that. You were saying we were ahead on uh, on time, Mitch. I think we're going to get a, a, a good drawn, not drawn out, but we're going to get our money's worth out of this matchup. I think so, too. You are, you called that right down the middle, man, because it is... This is uh this has just been such a great, great fight. I mean, Aqua's easily can pull off legendary comebacks, so we'll see what happens. And I like I said, I've never seen him play Secret, so this is uh this is uh this is interesting. That shield makes a whole bit of difference. If you don't have a, a right grenade stick or some fire to combat it, you're you're uh you're in you're in some trouble. So Enemies have armed the bomb. We'll see. Disarm bomb oh, they went for a quick plant. It went for a quick plant. As it looks like Siebert's on the side. Hook a couple shots from Aqua. Gomez yeah. off the other side. Oh, it took him oh. out. Can they hold out? Take that bomb out. Two on one. You think, you think, what, Gomak goes for the bomb and Aqua keeps pushing? That shield is ridiculous, oh. man. Oh, that shield is ridiculous. Woo, man. Shield is definitely, uh, definitely rough. Yeah. Wow. You gonna come back and win it. The champ, can the champ do it? This would be one amazing comeback if Aqua and Gomak could uh, pull this off. Such a different dynamic with once you switch sides. And what I've yeah. seen out of Aqua is he sprints up along that railing. I mean, it's perfect, straight as 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 straight as he can get. And he kind of watches that bridge, so he must know that if he sprints up and nobody crosses that bridge, they're going to fall on that right side. Absolutely. Yeah, you're right. Looking at Gomak here playing as Trench. Let's lock this down. Locking sides down, throwing that bob wire out, sticking over. Playing some claymores, trying to get those uh this ought to those slow quick down. uh quick easy uh, kills. It looks like uh Siebert's seen uh seen Gomak. Taking it. Gomak got a two-on-one fight over here. All right. If you gun him down, it turns him off. Whole different strategy playing right now. And they just took him out. Man, wow. match point. Match point for the champions. 
Match point. Tighten up. Match point for the champions. They came in and just cleaned up Gomak uh, really fast as uh, Aqua tried to come over for some help, but uh, just 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 lost a little bit of time to be able to get there. Man, what a match, guys. What a match. Absolutely. Great, great matchup. This... So you could, uh, Aqua really likes looking at this. I think you're, man, you're calling it right on uh, as far as Aqu Aqua just looking at that, that window to check that middle for that that boat hike. You are, you called that right on, man. I pay attention sometimes. <laughs> All right. Aqua got a peek at both of them. Aqua's going to try to come up behind them. That high ground up there. Doesn't even see him. Took out Seabird. Moss has got Aqua. Moss and Gomac. Moss and Gomac now. Going. Oh, 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 ran into a Claymore. Wow. What a sly move! What a sly move! Match point. Tighten up. Oh man. That was clutch. Sneaky move. Nice there. job, Gomac. The champions on match point, and uh, the Flying Dutchman holding him off. Still battling back. Still battling. Still battling. Crazy, crazy, crazy. What a match. What a match. Alrighty, here we go. Looks like uh, Aqua is looking again now. I don't oh, know if Aqua's seen Aqua. them. Hmm, looks like uh, Seeger with an adrenaline shot. Seeger with a great grenade throw rushes in. They take out Aqua right away. Gomax all by himself. Gomax all by himself. Can he do it? Two on one. Two on one. What do you think? I think bomb plant would be a good strategy. It forces Gomac yeah, to. Yeah, yeah the there it is. He planted the bomb. Gomac you know, can't see at all in that smoke. It's like Seabird's making his way around. Looks like they're going to oh, try to pinch him. Oh, it's looking good for Team of Champions. Looks like they're trying to pinch him. And Team of Champions knock out the Flying Dutchman. Good game, guys. You guys. Put on amazing both teams. Phenomenal, phenomenal play. Great job. Great play. Wow. Great that was play. so good. So good. Definitely getting good sweaty, game, guys. Absolutely. Phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal play. Wow. Like just what a game. It just was what what a game. Like everything. It had everything. I definitely can we bring those guys in i definitely want to hear yeah, some, some uh, talk about that if you that. guys would like to come in for a little post interview i would appreciate it you guys would all right next up we do have uh we have we don't give a shit versus the standalone cheese so. this one should be good all right, we do have Aqua in here. We have Moss and Seaber. You guys played absolutely amazing. That was intense. <laughs> oh god. That was, that was amazing. You guys, you guys, you know, you guys started off the first couple rounds. It was like balls to the wall, 100 miles an hour. Mm. You guys go in, gunplay, 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 and then at towards when the switch happened, 
you guys slowed it down a bit and it came into an, a strategic type of of match because of Sigrid. <laughs> yeah, it's probably one hundred percent because of Sigrid and her ability. You yeah. guys absolutely just f did phenomenal. Um, so many plays, and then Gomak caught caught Amos with that that sleeper claymore out of nowhere. I know. I was like, where did that come from? <laughs> Man, yeah, that was lucky. That was crazy. Uh, I'm not gonna that, lie, yeah, I know that was unlucky on my part. Really lucky on your guys' part. <laughs> once, oh, once, the, <laughs> once the map spun around, once that map spun around, and we had to push into them, it was just it was a different game, man. I I couldn't play as aggressive, yeah. and it just you know I it, it was it was they definitely gave me a run for my money. In that half. Glimpse's passive definitely came in clutch. You guys did yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Phenomenal, taking nothing away from both of you guys. Also, I'm just happy that I somehow got a grenade stuck to someone. Else. Oh my god! And I'm so bad at throwing grenades. Usually, I'm like, wait, it's stuck. And, and Siebert threw a grenade like a freaking fastball, man. I'm Dude, telling that was, you, that was like the first grenade I've ever thrown. I never use util in this game. I'm oh, not even lying. It was, but they were just, they were making me. They made me pull it out. It was so, so, so good. Like you guys played phenomenal. Um, Moss and Siebert, we will uh, we'll get you guys uh, uh, with the uh, the information for the round of next week. Um, Aqua, Gomak, tell Gomak. I know he's not in here, but tell Gomak he did phenomenal. Yeah, no, here. Oh, you are here, Gomak. Yeah, how'd you I mean, feel, yeah. man? How'd you feel about that match? Oh man, it was it was an awesome match. Um, you hear him? Completely didn't expect that it was so hard. <laughs> can you hear him? Yeah, yeah, we can hear him. We can hear him. Yeah, he's he's. Oh, okay, nice, nice. Yeah, you, uh, yeah, and, go back, dude. You, you, that sleeper claymore that you did was just epic, man. Like, yeah, I was. Man, I, I know. I, 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 I like took a step to my left. I'm like, why am I dead? Now, now go back. Yeah. I do have one question. At the very end, that last round, when when Oma or when Aqua went down, and it was you versus Sieber and uh, and Moss, like. Did you have like a little bit of adrenaline to where like okay I can do uh, this? Yeah, yeah. Um, I was all shaking all over. Uh, <laughs> I, couldn't, I, I couldn't shoot straight anymore. Uh, I was thinking, oh no, this this is it. This is the end. The uh, the reason <laughs> why yes, the reason why Ethel asked that is because uh, poor Mister Optional he uh, he actually could not find a partner for the match today, so he wanted to go in solo. So he's actually he's actually uh, he's actually going in by himself this match. So oh goodness. So that's the reason why I said that. Um, but uh, we uh, we we do appreciate you guys taking the time and effort and being there for you guys' matches. You guys are amazing. Do you guys have any renegade hike? Do you have anything for these these this amazing team? No, I mean there was just I a couple of that. missed grenades from Aqua that could have changed the tide on a couple of things, and yeah. you know I've been there yeah. before. It sucks. Oh no, but... he threw one of the grenades, and I think me and Siebert rolled like simultaneously away. <laughs> yeah, it was that last one kind of on the side of the ship, but I mean just a couple of those grenades clip crates yeah. but i mean that could have changed the, yeah. the score drastically just even those couple things so i mean it's, it just yeah. comes down to you know it, it there's little things that can change games so you know don't feel disgruntled guys i've been there before but oh, i've played no. you yeah. and i know yeah. how it yeah. goes man it was it was a good yeah. game i think we all played really well <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Seabird, it was good to see you guys i've never got to see you guys play so that was awesome yeah, and uh good luck uh, yeah yeah good luck next round yeah yeah, good luck to guys. everyone else going today. You guys gonna win uh, the tournament. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, look at this, the champ. Well, we'll the champ, Aqua, Aqua, the champ we'll do it is, for you. The champ is saying yeah, that is it. in your honor. <laughs> Chat, do you hear that? The champ says that's gonna be the winning team right there. Look at that. Look at look at the nobleism of the champ. Thank you, champ. You're you're awesome, man. Thank you so much. No worries. So, no worries. all right, guys, we are going to um get this match set up we've got uh we don't give a shit on the left side we've got the cheese that stands alone on the right and uh we will uh we will see this match go down so i'm um, getting ready to, to everyone else <laughs> yeah getting ready to kick it off guys uh these are two awesome amazing teams that are about to fight uh and mr optional is going solo in the match so um let's uh let's check it out and see uh see how this match fares out. Let's uh with obviously being two on one, we know that Mr. Optional is definitely the underdog here. Um so let's uh let's watch this match 
unfold. So pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. Yeah, I'm not sure who to, who to pick, cheese or shit. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I love cheese. I love cheese. So here we go. Demolition. Exciting stuff. Plant the bomb out of sight. Here we go. And thank you. Thank you so much, Rogue Company Stream Gods, for allowing the spectate mode to be working. This makes things so much easier. If anybody wasn't around for the Rogue Company League, it is on YouTube. Just follow at uh, Rude Boy Mitch. Um, you can actually watch all six weeks of that exciting, intense gameplay. And, uh, you know, the man that doesn't miss his shots that is hot on the mic as well, Hike Diesel played in that, and he did phenomenal. So uh, definitely, yeah. definitely I, check I out. I wish I could have hung around for a little bit longer. I was I was kind of on a good run. Um, ran into Aqua and got smacked pretty good. But Yeah, you know. You know it would have been interesting to see how it would have played out. But I'm just thankful to be playing today. And um, I'm actually probably going to hop off here. I should probably warm up since I haven't played in almost a week. So Yeah, absolutely, man. Go ahead. Uh, do your thing. We appreciate you coming and commentating. And then after the... Uh, after you uh, you guys get done, if you want to hop in for the last match, that's fine. If not, that's cool yeah. as well. So yeah, for sure. All righty, um, man. So Good probably, luck today. I'll set the stream down and um, I'll hop in for a post game interview, of course, and then I'll probably just hang out for the last game and we can talk, you know, post post tournament and for Absolutely. you know kind of a wrap up as well. So absolutely. All right. But good luck. Good. We'll talk to you guys in a bit. Thank you, man. We'll see you around. Thanks. Uh, okay, here we go. We got. We got the cheese stands alone on the right, and we don't give a shit on the left. It looks like Short Fuse is going with uh, Switchblade, and Hustle Dice is going with Dima, and we've got Mr. Optional going with Mac. Here we go. Now, I mean, it would be an unbelievable feat if, if Mr. Optional can pull this off, right? Going one on two. I mean, yeah, it, it, it would be an amazing W if if he can do this in a handicap situation. <laughs> Hustle Dice almost missed the boat there. <laughs> I'm sure she's laughing a little bit at it. As uh, looks like Mr. Optional is being very aggressive here. Mr. Optional's going aggressive. We got Switchblade here on the. Uh, uh, looks like once the best of the bomb. I know Hustle. She does not care to mess with that bomb, so she wants to just run and gun and shoot. So, it's like they are sticking together, though. They're doing a really well job sticking together. Oh, Mr. Optional Ooh. gets mad early. Oh, Hustle it Dice with the grenade kill right off the bat. Man. See, the thing with Mac, though, Mac does kind of also play as two people, though, because when he downs somebody, he does repair his armor. So that's right. a that's a that's a that's a great thing to use. So I didn't think how fast this tournament was gonna move, and it is moving. Yeah, we are definitely trucking we are, along. We are we are literally a half hour ahead of schedule, so which is great. That is that is awesome. Now, the winner of this match will play the Yucky Elden Ring. So, just a heads up. The winner of this match plays the Yucky Elden Ring. As... Oh, Hustle is keeping the bomb this time. And she's going for the plant. Enemies have armed the bomb. Disarm it. Looks like uh, Mr. Optional's coming around on the backside. Oh. Shoots her grenade. Mr. Optional on the ropes here has got got to get the bomb. Mr. Optional has the claymore. The oh, sword gets out. Down hustle. Gets hustle. Comes around. Going for the uh, the big uh, flashbang. Oh, coming around the side. Short comes up behind him. Guns him out. down from the back. You know wow. that these. So the, the thing about this match too is. You know that these these three individuals, they are just having fun. They know they're just having fun. So uh, right. this is oh, just, they're just having a blast. 
Well, they're having an absolute blast. They all know it's for fun. We're all tacos. They know this is definitely out of out of uh, out of out of everything, man. These guys are just having so much fun. So. Also, guys, if you want to get involved in any of these type of events, definitely, definitely, definitely come be a part of the Taco Society. The great, amazing family. It's the People's Discord. Come hang out and have a good time. Hustle, Hustle's definitely more of an aggressor, man. She, she will go right in. Mr. Optional is oh, right around that door. Ah! Shoots the grenade blindly. And Max survives it. Mr. Optional survives it. And oh, short with that rocket. Short with it's that rocket. Guy. Short with that rocket. Alrighty. So, uh, also, chat, the reason why Mr. Optional, uh, Mr. Optional is going in alone is because of the fact that he, he tried to get a partner, he tried so hard, and everybody was taken, so he's like, I just want to play, I don't care if I have a partner, we allowed him to have, have this, uh, this play here, so... As... Hustle comes in, taking the A side. Oh. Little gunfight on that side there between uh, Short Fuse and uh, Mr. Optional. Oh! He's got that sword that's so All funny as Hustle and Short. Take some teamwork to clean them up. I love how Mr. Optional's going in with that sword. I love it. I absolutely <laughs> love it. Gotta try something when you're by yourself. Let's see what Mr. Optional can do here in this round. Alrighty, here we go. We've got a uh, Looks like hustles taking care of the bomb here Zebra doing his best here to fend him off and doing a great job at that you mean Mr. Optional. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Mr. Optional. I think I said Zebra. Mr. Optional Sees hustle hustle going for the bomb plant Enemies plant Got the bomb. it Stop them. Mr. Optional pinched down on each side Friendly's eliminated. Ah, yeah. Guns them down. You know the, you know, you know they're just having fun. They're, like, they're just having a good time. Oh, yeah. This has got to be, this has got to be the most relaxed match of the tournament. I would say easy, absolutely yeah, easy. Absolutely. They're just here to have a good time, play some rogue. Next up on deck, we've got Yucky Elden Ring. We'll be facing the winner of these two teams. So as short is watching that side like we've gone to a little bit more of a stealthy approach now. Oh, Hustle's oh. right behind Mr. Optional. Shoots the grenade. I think she might have blew herself up a little bit. She might have. I think Mr. Optional was As... a little off on the shot there. Hits him with the rocket. Mr. Optional's able to get away, though. Wasn't it a direct hit, so you're able to up. heal up. One on one. Short and optional. Short's got the bomb. Bomb 
Bomb's active. Find it and defuse it. Bomb is planted. What Mr. Optional is going to do here. Mr. Optional's got to go to the bomb. Short's got the uh, the good side here as far as uh, which way it's going to go. Oh, sneaking up. Oh, some short point accuracy. We're attacking now. Hit him hard. All righty. Bomb switches sides Bomb now. Bomb switches sides. They're able to pick different characters as well. Looks like uh, team we don't give a shits keeping with the same characters as so is uh, the cheese that stands alone. What a name. What a name. The cheese that stands alone. All righty. Like I said, next up on deck, Yucky Elden Ring will be versing, uh, will be versing, uh, whoever is the winner of this match. All right. Here we go. Let's see what happens here. Russell is doing phenomenal. Short is doing phenomenal. Mr. Optional, you are doing phenomenal as well. The score does not reflect on how well you all are doing. Yeah, considering the fact that Mr. Optional is by himself, he's, he's still playing really, really well. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> some some people in the chat oh, are still got the... Oh, I see. There. Got a peek of Hustle, yep. Hustle shoots the grenade launcher and gets him for the win! Hustle pulls out a grenade launcher for the win! Nice grenade there from uh, from Hustle. Mr. Optional, if you want to come in for a post-interview, that'd be great. Um, and we'll bring Shore and uh, Hustle in next after their match against Elden Ring. Yucky Elden Ring. I love how they, they, they named their name after another game. That's just, it's just great. Like, <laughs> it's, it's just phenomenal. So, all right. And we've yeah, got short, pretty, uh, short fuse. Got and, some pretty smart tacos yeah. in our, in our taco society. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we got short fuse and hustle dice one more time going at it as Yucky Elden Ring will be coming in. And Yucky, if you want to, uh, you want to have your uh, invite your man. I don't have your man on a uh, friends list. Uh, Mister Optional, if you want to come in for a post interview, you are more than welcome, brother. Would love to love to hear about your experience on that. Hey, Mr. Optional. Hello, can you hear us? Mr. Optional, we did see he popped in here. We see you. We see hey, you. how you doing? What's up, buddy? I hear you laughing. Yeah. You uh, you play you played really good, man, for being alone, bro. Thank you, thank you. I probably could have played better, but I I screwed myself at the beginning. Oh, how'd you do that? I uh, <laughs> I banned uh my main accidentally. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I was like, oh okay, they banned Dallas. That's cool. Okay, I guess it's my turn to pick my character now. And then I was like. Boom, banned. And I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> who, did, who were you going to play as? 
Umbra. Oh, man. They banned them, too. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I screwed up, and I, I banned him. <laughs> I banned, banned him personally. Oh, jeez. You banned Umbra. Wow. Yeah, he banned his yeah. own, but... Uh, sure, I'll bring you in. Sure, I'll bring you in hustling after after your guys' match here. Um, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'll no bring worries, you guys no in here in a second. I didn't know. Yeah, it's okay. Know. It's okay. Uh, right, but uh, Mr. Optional, how did that feel playing two on one, man? I mean, I know it was difficult, especially That's playing good. playing somebody oh, that goodness. playing somebody that you know obviously you probably don't play Mac very much, but um, yeah, no, I I try to I try to play Mac. I, I'm not I'm not great, but man. Oh my goodness! Like I, I love the two on one aspect was was great. I absolutely loved it. Yeah, um, and, and uh, I tell you what, man, um, I loved how you're running around with the sword. Like that was just great, man. Like I <laughs> yeah. loved it. But uh, Renegade, do you have anything for him at all? Uh, I I don't. Uh, I think you pretty much covered it. Yeah, I mean, Miss Optional, we do appreciate you being a part of it, man. I'm sad that you didn't. Thank you. Get- you didn't get a partner, hey, but hey, that's okay. I can, that is a okay. I really enjoyed uh, being allowed to play as a solo player, and I and I could tell that match right there. I could tell that match was just pure fun, like from both sides. You oh. guys were just having a blast. So I, I was having so much fun. I was like, oh, okay. So first, I got a. I, I like. I, I I was trying to go for short fuse every single time because short fuse like got me every single time uh-huh and uh but, and man. then hustle sneaky man she had that grenade. Hustle's, hustle's sneaky yeah every time i saw hustle like it was just like immediate like <laughs> oh shoot i gotta <laughs> run now <laughs> you guys are you guys are like playing schoolyard hide and seek man honestly but uh, uh for real Great, great job, man, and uh, and uh, we'll be around. Hopefully, we can get you uh, get you in on on one of our next uh, events here. So we appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. All right, we are going to turn it over and get back into this match here. We've got Yucky Elden Ring versus uh, We Don't Give a Shit, another team that are here in here for uh, just just great fun. So. Um, should be a good, good time. And we're going to, it is going to be interesting to see how the strategy, uh, strategy goes here on this. So, uh, here we go. Running this game up. Ah, these matches are moving so fast today. They really are. So, so fast. As, uh, let's see, who do we have next on deck after this? We have the irritating agitators versus the fire starters. So really exciting to see the fire starters play. Demolition. Pick a site and plant the bomb. And here we go. Here we go. Now we've got a now we've got I would say I would say I mean I would say this would be a, a little bit more of a, a, a tough match now because it's not going to be two on one. So it is going to be a tough match. And I know that. Um, ooh, Yucky Bandiva. Oh, I wonder how Hustle's going to like ooh. that. Ooh, yeah. that's going to be that's tough. That, yeah. Going to be tough. Okay, Hustle's going with Saint. That's not a bad move. Being able not to revive, revive and be a uh be a uh uh Yeah, ha- having a medic is definitely uh I think would be a a good idea. Anywho, um, so we've got, we don't give a shit on the 
left side and uh yucky elden ring on the right hustle or we don't give a shit has the bomb on the left side here we go i think we're in for a good matchup though i think this is going to be a really good matchup i agree i agree And here we go. We got a little bit of a split. Looks like, looks like Short's peeking the boat on the inside. Kind of seeing what's going on. And Eldon and Yucky are spaced out pretty well. I think they hear oh, each other a little bit. Yucky sees Short. Got a couple shots on him. Got the rocket. Oh, I think I think Short kind of just misread his rocket a little bit as Hustle is down. Oh man, and Yucky, I think Yucky's playing a scorch. So that fire doesn't hurt on that rocket. He, he is playing a scorch. So oh, yeah, like you said, it's tough. The only, that, thing, the only thing that's gonna hurt scorch as far as that rocket is if it's a direct hit. That initial explosion will hurt, but the fire won't. It is a, uh, it is a tough here. It's a two on one. Not trying to throw shade, but you know, Mr. Optional's got a little bit of a smile right now with it being two on one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, he's sitting back going, mm-hmm. Uh-huh, this, this is how I, how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> As, uh, 15 seconds, they're defending that bomb really well. If they can't get that bomb and plant it, they're going to lose the round. Got Yucky here on the side with some shots. I think the first round might go to Yucky Elden Ring because of the bomb not getting planted. Been wiped out. That was a, that was a good first round though. That was a great first round. Nice gunplay there from everybody. Man. All right, and this is different. This is different because uh, because uh, Hustle Hustle did not get a play as Dima, so it might have be a little bit different now. Right. Get your bearings playing with a different uh, different rogue. And this is part of that mind games, you know. Absolutely it is. Now, do you think Yucky Elder Ring may have banned Dima because they were a little scared of the way she was playing? Because she was playing phenomenal with Dima as we've seen before. It, it, it could have been. It, it definitely, definitely could have been. They were a little worried about that grenade launcher. It's like a yucky Elden Ring. They kind of split up a little bit. Oh man, Elden's got some That's shots. Elden's got some shots. We're two on one again. Two on one again. Here we go. Can they use that Definitely. rocket? Definitely a lot of team play here from the yucky ham sandwich side. Yeah, a lot. You know, there's a lot of communication. I see a claymore down on that right side too. There, yeah, definitely is a claymore on that on that one side. Ah, that. Wonder if that strategy is going to change after the bomb switches. Nope. Ah. All right. Oh, it's got to reload. It crushed us. Ah, that immunity is wow. killer right now because if. If if uh, Yucky was not playing as Scourge, that fire would have definitely took her out. Oh, absolutely! Man. What a... Like All I said, right. the only thing you gotta do is, as far as Scourge, you just gotta jump from that initial explosion, and then it's uh, you can just stand. I want to say thank you for all the participants that have joined and competed in this tournament today. I do appreciate you all. They're doing the uh, the same strategy here. Looks like uh, Short has the bomb this time. Holding down A pretty well. <laughs> uh, 
as oh yucky yucky and uh, short yucky's gonna come right up behind short oh but the front oh, fire get ah. him get, get with the incendiary then wiped out and oh. then just shreds them what a team up man that fire and trench man we got one that can do traps one that can do area burns it's a tough tough to combat tough to combat Yucky Elden Ring, yeah. you guys are Good playing combo. phenomenal. I think, I think, I think just Hustle's throwing off her game just a little bit because she's not playing Dima. I think that's just what's really kind of, kind of hurting her a little bit, but that's okay. Short, short, he's, uh, he's doing, he's doing everything he can. It's just that, oh no. No, hustle flew into the water. Ooh, good thing she got that respawn. All right. Throws that incendiary. Short and uh, Hustle are grouped up a little bit more this time. Same with Yucky, the Yucky Ham Sandwich. They're they're uh, grouped up pretty well. Hustle throw or Hustle well. throws a smoke grenade to kind of maybe create a little bit of distraction. Looks like it looks like Yucky Elden Ring is on the other side of the map. So got to watch that Claymore. There's a Claymore there that Hustle does see. Makes her rethink. Oh, she sees the Claymore. They gotta plant the bomb. They're gonna lose by, oh, they didn't plant the bomb in time. Wow. Mm, man. I'm getting them with some, with some mind games here. It looks I like. I think I think that's just good defense, though, man. If you got your if you've got your you got the team to where you're not sure exactly where they want to go to plant, you know. Right. I think they definitely got them worried about the uh, the gunplay because the gunplay from uh, Yucky Elden Ring has been uh, it's been really really good. And I got word that uh, uh, there's a lot of chatter going on in the in the uh, the uh, chat as far as um, if iced coffee doesn't make it. I think Mr. Optional is going to fill in for iced coffee. So All right, looks like A is pretty well locked down here. Like hustles trying to create some noise. Oh, hustles got the jump on Elden. They oh, got they one. gun him down. Two on one. Ah. All friendlies eliminated. Oh, what Reboot. happened? Yeah, I think I think short ran into a a, a claymore. They short leaned into a claymore. We didn't get to see it. Wow. What a play. Yucky Elder Ring, just a phenomenal team right now. They are running really well. Taking nothing away from we don't give a shit. You guys have been phenomenal too. I can't believe we're rolling as fast as we are in this tournament. All right. 
Ducky Elden Ring definitely likes to uh, try to take A out of the equation as much as possible. Yeah, I think uh, the bomb switches sides. I wonder if there'll be a little bit of strategy switch up after this with that. Yucky playing, yucky playing, uh, Scorch. That was, uh, that was, that, that was a great, great move. Especially with, especially going up against the Switchblade. That definitely is a game changer. You know, it's like rock, paper, scissors, and you're just picking rock every time, you know? It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a tough, tough, tough game. Oh, yucky got a peek at a hustle there. I think See go short views behind those. Oh, almost got Yucky on the run. Ellie hurt. comes over, doesn't see hurt, Hustle hurt. either. Oh. They've got him pinched. Short views with the high they ground. got him pinched. Hustle's got one. Hustle with good shots. Two on one. Two on one. They did not plant the bomb though. Uh, they plant the bomb. Okay, they're playing the bomb. They got the bomb planted. Two on bomb one. Oh, Yucky. Yucky. Elden's hurt. Elden's hurt. Hanging in with a really, sliver really of health. Hurt. Refilling his armor, though. Short's got that high ground. See them up there. A little off on his shots. He's up on top, he's in the corner. Yucky's running out of, or Elden's running out of time to get that bomb. Meets him up at the top. They crushed him. Oh, and and they, Short just and, guns him down. And we don't give a shit, pulls off a round win, man. They they just had a great strategy to pinch him in that backside. They did a great Absolutely. job. It was well played there. Really, really well done. Well done. All right, are we switching up now? Or are we uh, we sticking to the same characters? Let's see. It looks like Elden. Oh. Ooh, Elden's going. Uh, Elden's going Elden's Switchblade. Going Switchblade. Hustle's and going Anvil. Like Yucky. Yucky's staying Yucky's as Scorched. Be... And Short, Short is. is gonna Short's gonna go Scorched. Interesting. Got the Battle of the Scorches going on now. Probably a really good move on Short Fuse's part to go Scorch here. All righty. So we've got we've got a uh, hustle with uh oh and and short fuse one with the scorch huh yeah got the battle of the scorches wow we got a battle of the scorches I think that might be a really good move on 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 short fuse's part considering the uh, the yucky Elden Ring now has a switchblade on on their side yeah <laughs> and we do know that uh. That Scorch has that crazy SMG that goes on fire. Yeah, that some... special ability. Any any gun she picks up or touches, she can use incendiary rounds. So. Man, lot. Sticking a together, a lot well of quiet here. going on right now. A lot of quiet going on. Strategies have been placed. The bomb's down. Just a whole different element when you're, you know, you, you're just, just this one life scenario, trying to take it easy. Oh, I think. Oh, sure got a shot on her. Or on him. <sighs> Elden backed up. They got to go for that bomb. Wow. Yucky walked right through his fire grenade. That was so smart. I think.
Peek. Oh. Shorts up on top, got the high ground. Shorts on top, he's running Friendly's out of time. That's gonna Bomb explosion. Online. Wow, that Couldn't was just... Defuse. That was great play there, great play. All right, we got match point for the Yucky Elden Ring. Match point for Yucky Elden Ring as uh, Short Fuse and Hustle clawing their way around. Amazing fight, you guys. You guys have been doing great. Okay, here we go. We've got a... Uh, Short Fuse kind of taking a little bit more of an aggressive approach. He's and kind of perches up as Hustle's right behind. They're playing together. I love how both of these teams, we haven't seen this today. Both of these teams have really done really well about staying together. And, and like, you know, they are I'm not saying that the strategy of, of one on one side, one on the other, calling people out isn't a great idea. But I just love how they are doing a great job as far as sticking together. You know they're they're like you know, you've got your 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 right hand person in the trenches with you. Got you. definitely going with the you know, I got uh, your backup. Okay, we're one on one. We're one oh, on one. Battle of the scorches. Fire. Oh, but they got they picked up switchblade. Switchblade's back up. Oh. Okay, we got the fire rounds on. Bomb getting planted. Really puts Short Fuse in a position here. Oh, Yucky got a peek at Short Fuse in that corner over there. Going for a quick approach. Oh, and wow, it down. cleans up with Yucky. That was a great match. You guys did phenomenal. Yucky, phenomenal match. Yucky, short hustle. If you guys want to come in for a uh, a post interview, you guys are more than welcome. You guys are more than welcome. You guys did phenomenal. That was that was just great fun. Great fun. Good matchup. I I, I liked the. Uh, I just love how the they. Who played. Being yeah. the person who plays the Scorch, I I, I loved the uh, the Scorch play being implemented. I, I, I've been a fan of that. I loved how they just stuck together the entire time. I really yeah, loved how absolutely. they did that. That was great teamwork. Hey, Yucky, welcome in. You guys did hey. phenomenal. Thank you. I didn't think I was going to get any, to be honest. But thank you. Now, question. I have a question for you. Did you guys, like, since you got to see them play a match before you, did you guys purposely go, hey, I'm going to ban D.Va because of it? Or did you just ban them randomly to ban, ban them randomly? Uh, just, we just go with, like, whoever. Okay. So okay. We, it's either uh, D.Va, uh, Glimpse, or what's that guy's name? T t not talent yeah bands yeah umbra because <laughs> umbra. umbra was so annoying we were gonna ban him but it was just like my, but my husband was like do 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 um Dima. Oh, okay okay yeah that was uh you guys did phenomenal uh and i and i really enjoyed watching you guys play um, I do Thank like you. i i did like how there was one time where you literally just walked through uh uh, the fire, like you just walked right through the grenade and just came through. I just realized, like, I'm not scared of fire. Yeah, <laughs> that was pretty much it. Yeah. I was you like, got, what am well, I doing, standing well, there? Yep, you guys did phenomenal, and I appreciate you guys. And we will, uh, we'll get you guys as times for uh, next week, so you guys can uh, move on to the next round. Like, congratulations, that's phenomenal. Thank you so much, Mitch. Yeah, we will see you guys around. Hustle, oh, we got short, hustle short for you, how are you guys doing? Okay. Yeah. Hey, I want to talk about your first match against Mr. Optional. Uh, yeah. First off, Hustle, you were on point with that grenade launcher. Like, I, you made me scared. That was awesome. Like, absolutely phenomenal. Just, just 
just great. Um, well, yeah. I didn't feel so good because he was the only player. So <laughs> wasn't it even match anyways? But for uh, him playing by himself, he did a phenomenal job because that's that's fucking hard. Absolutely. Yeah, he did do a phenomenal job. He did a good, but you had some some parts where he was he came in after the match and he was like you you like were playing hide and seek with him and you spooked him a couple times and he uh he really enjoyed it and uh he he uh he did he did phenomenal. But you did phenomenal as well. Those grenades were on point and I could tell the communication between you and Short was definitely very we clear. Did great. And Short you guys, is amazing. yeah, you guys did phenomenal. Um, now it's talking on that next match. That next match, I know they banned Dima, which probably puts you at a little bit of a fluster. Did you uh, just kind of like randomly? Well, pit- Go ahead. So my response is though, I don't play this game twenty four seven. I only play it rarely. Right. And second of all, I don't have the fucking battle pass, so <laughs> the only place I could play was Dima, anyways. Yeah. So they would have banned Glimpse, like she said, or someone else. You know, yeah. but hey, she picked Dima because her homeboy wanted to, which is fine. But like I said, I don't have any other players besides the original players yeah. that I was given. So it, that you, was that, that was my part. Okay. Yeah. Well, you did you did you did great on both of them for not knowing to play neither one of them rogues. And uh, short, how about you, man? Uh, that uh, that switchblade when you were playing switchblade and she was scorched. Did that that put a little bind in your strategy a little bit because she was just walking through that fire? Well. I kind of figured somebody was going to play Scorch just because on the last game. Yeah. Scorch is the only one that's immune to fire. Yeah. So, I mean, that was a smart play um, on their part. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it is it what good. it is. Either they way. Got the close, yeah. I mean, they got the close side every, every the first six games. Yep. Yeah. I, so it was I, easier for them to get to the That makes a big point. difference, too. So... Yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, uh, the thing yeah, is, is I mean, that I know uh, between uh, between both games, I know you guys, the, you two, like you three teams were the teams that were honestly in it for the pure fun. And you guys, yeah, yeah. you guys made yeah. it look so much fun and you guys did a great job. <laughs> like not only did you yeah, guys did do great. it, they did great. They, they did, did great. great. Optional did yeah, great. I yeah, think exactly. optional might even get a play maybe possibly again because of a. Uh, he wants to fill in for uh, for iced coffee, so maybe that could happen again. So he'll actually have oh, a partner. That's amazing. Um, yes. Yeah, but uh, I, I really wish Mr. Optional would have had a partner. I mean, yeah, yes, me yeah, yeah. He did. That he, wasn't fair. He did. He did phenomenal. You guys both did great. Um, and uh, appreciate you guys being a part of it. And we'll we'll have more to come for real. But you yeah. know what though? I mean, I'm getting the uh, motherfucking battle pass. So they can get <laughs> the fuck they want. <laughs> motherfucking that's, ass. That's the spirit. Damn right. That yeah, is damn right. Yeah, you yeah, damn I think, right. Uh, I think had <laughs> I love you guys though. I love me you guys. Yeah. Me and had more uh, time to play because I yeah. don't really have a lot of time to play. Yeah. Just because when I get off work, nobody else is on. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I, so I, I mean, it's playing with randoms, and it's you it know. Sucks. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Yeah. Ab- exactly. Absolutely. Like, but you guys, you guys you know, made it look. Games. You guys made it look so fun. You guys really did. So like. Honestly. Yeah, kudos to them. They got the win. Yep, they sure did. And you guys got a win so. too, though, at the beginning. So you guys did great. You guys did phenomenal. Well, I mean, that was that was a little off. I mean, it's right. still, it's still. It really <laughs> hey, <laughs> you ask, <laughs> not not to pull a Vin Diesel, but winning is winning. You know, whether yeah. it's an inch by a mile. So you guys did phenomenal, and yeah, uh, yeah, cool. we will we'll see you guys around. So yes, of course. Thank you Bye, guys. guys. Yep. Alrighty, here we go. Uh, we've got flaming cats, I believe, is a is iced coffee, and uh, or wait, no, they're the fire starters. Sorry, the fire starters. My bad. What? Uh, I iced coffee and uh, Miss Killer Bunny. Um, I'm gonna send a message out to Ice Coffee and see if we can uh, get a hold of her real quick. If not, we will bring in Mister Optional to uh, on her behalf. So, see if we can get a hold of her real quick. Also, if you guys like what you see, <laughs> I love the other team's score. Yeah, uh, if you like what you see and you guys want to be a part of a of an event like this, definitely, definitely um, be. Uh, uh, join in the Taco Society. It's a phenomenal, phenomenal 
uh, Discord. It's the People's Discord. Uh, we like to support and be proud of everybody that plays anything. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, so we will, uh, we will, uh, we're going to give Ice Coffee a little bit of time. And, uh, if, uh, if anything, um, we will, uh, see what happens. We will see what happens. So I'm going to take a quick little break to give her, give her a minute to, to come. And uh, if not, we will bring in Mr. Optional to play on uh, her behalf. So grab your popcorn, guys. We are getting through it. Alrighty. Uh, I am back. You're still waiting for a response. If not, we will uh, we'll bring in Mr. Optional so we can be uh, be ready. Optional uh, said he would uh, come and play with uh, Miss Killer Bunny. Renegade, you still here? I am, I am. Oh, we know for a Do we know for a fact that she's not going to show? She busy? She got something going on? I want to give her the benefit of the doubt. Yes, I've been trying to reach her since. Okay. Okay. All right. We got word that Ice Coffee will not be able to make it. Okay. And uh, Frenchie, the sportsmanship, as he says, says that if she does show, we can restart the match since we are ahead of schedule. So we are going to bring it in. Here we go. Let me get the uh, names. Frenchie always being the gentleman. Frenchie's such a gentleman, guys. If you don't follow Oi Oi Frenchie, go check him out. The man, the myth, the legend. Demolition. Plant the bomb in either site. All right. Here we go. Let's see who we got. Sorry. All right, we've got the irritating agitators on the left side. Fire starters on the right. Oi oi, Frenchie on the left side with his partner in crime. Yeah, Asian the being Asian talent. one. And we've got Mr. Optional who gets a partner this time with Miss Killer Bunny. And I just might I say that the Asian one and Oi oi, Frenchie are the TWS tag team champions of the world, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys do not know what TWS is. Definitely come check us out in the Taco Society. Amazing, amazing wrestling promotion. Definitely, definitely check it out. We got the we got the tag team TWS champions versus the fire starters. Here we go. Here we go. Alrighty. All right. So looks like uh, looks like Fritchie's going with uh, with Trench and Asian's going with Talion as Miss Killer Bunny is going with Saint and Optional is going with Dima. Do you think Mr. Optional picks Dima in uh, in in heart and memory of uh, Hustle Dice to kind of pay an homage to her? 
I think he would. I That's think he's a sweet guy. guy. He would do something like that. He would. He's an awesome taco. Alrighty. Looks like an uh, Asian one here with the bomb. Mr. Optional's oh, got his dude. tomahawk out. I just did not know that Dart can come back. That is crazy with, with Talion's ability. Ooh, Asian got a peek. Yeah, I... Asian got a peek at Miss Killer Bunny. I'll find you. Asian with that claymore, you better watch out. Oh my oh. god, you knew it was coming. He's you such a signature man with that claymore. Miss Killer Bunny's hurt. All friendly eliminated. Wow, they just <laughs> mopped him up. Frenchy mopped it up. What a good first round. That was good. That was a lot of intense action there. Absolutely. All right. Let's see what happens here. Looks like they're both liking that side to play in A as uh, Where are you Asian hiding? looks like she feels pretty confident. He's got the bomb again this round. I think they like playing this side of the boat. Looks like Mr. Optional and uh, Miss Killer Bunny are trying to come up behind uh, Frenchie and the Asian one. I'll find you. Bomb's getting planted. Miss Killer Bunny's inside. Oh, and they just clean them up super fast. I think they got a good combination of characters right now with a trench and a and a Italian. Agreed. A lot of sportsmanship going on in the chat here. Always love seeing that. Mr. Optional being pretty aggressive Mr. Optional, here. yeah, definitely took the aggressive approach and just ran around. That C4 is planted. That C4, it, like when it hits on the ground, it almost blends in with the floor. It really does. There's a lot of shadows in this, so that could definitely come into play as well. This killer bunny and uh, uh, Asian one on a gunfight oh, right like now. Oh, for a tomahawk kill. Oh, oh my god, just... You know what? Frenchie had his back the whole time. What he a did. good teamwork Absolutely play there. Did. Great, great play, guys. Great play. All right. Man. Phenomenal, phenomenal Where plays from both teams. Next up on deck, we have Mommy versus. Oh, what a C4 from the Asian He's so one. nasty with those. He's so nasty. So, dirty. so nasty. As uh, we've got a uh, Mommy versus Vision of Madness next up on deck. 
Two on one. It's Killer Bunny pe peeking that side. Fifty seconds to plant the bomb. Two on one. See what Miss Killer Bunny can do here. Where are you hiding? God, okay. that Italian ability. Revealed. That dart ability is no crazy. Is now. Oh, you got a peek at Frenchie running over behind those crates. Ooh, Frenchie's twenty seconds hurt. to plant the bomb. Twenty seconds to plant the bomb. Got a gunfight. Oh, She's hurt. They crushed it. Asian rushes in, and cleans her up. Time. Well played by Fringy and Asian there. The teamwork is there, man. Not taking anything away from Miss Killer Bunny and Optula, who probably have never played together. So they are, they are doing, they are doing what they can, not knowing each other's play styles. Kind of learning on the on the go. Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, you do have the TWS Tag Team Champions you were fighting. So. They are the champions. I still have a grudge against the referee, but that's for a different day. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to be a TWS superstar, we do have a channel point redemption. You guys would be able to uh, to do that. I believe 30,000 points. You can be in the next TWS. Like Mr. Optional is kind of hanging back this time. And looks like they are taking the other side now. Miss Killer Bunny rushing oh, in on this side. This oh. Down. oh. Mr. Optional with the the grenade. Got a fight, that. and they the clean him up again. Guns him down. Great. Great wow. play, guys. You know, I remember talking to Frenchie and, and Asian a little bit before this, and they said they've been working on several different strategies. So, I think, uh, think they are definitely, you can sell, they are putting their, their work and time in. Vision a little salty about the TWS champions. I think he's calling them out. I mean, me and me and Visions are our tag team partners. We we have a bit of a grudge, mainly with the referee, but uh, again, for a different day. I'll find you. All right, let's see what Mr. Optional is doing here. It looks like he's hanging out over by uh by B, making his way back over to A. Wow, that was quick to, uh, by Asian one. Grenade Very launcher quick. From, uh, Frenchie's nice got the bomb and has got a fight over here with Mr. Optional going on. They are definitely taking this sides of the map. We got a revive going on over here for uh Mr. Optional Miss picks up Miss Killer Bunny. That's the first revive we've seen all day. I believe it is. I think that was the second oh! one. The first one happened. Got a gunfight here. Asian would try to get sneaky and throw the C4 over the top. That is crazy. I see, uh, I don't know how, but I see Frenchie is using the Riptide, which is Dallas's gun with Trench. That is, that is unbelievable. Oh. Asian. Asian gets down. Uh, oh. Saint. Use the, uh, the Saint ability there. Oh. Brings back. Bobby Trying Star to go for the Tomahawk. The fight over here around the garbage bin. Friendly's eliminated. Oh my and god! Wow! What a, what a round! We're attacking now. Hit him hard. Phenomenal, phenomenal play. Phenomenal play. Uh 
Oh, Miss Killer Bunny's bringing out Ronin. Frenchie's bringing out Runaway. And, and Asian's bringing out Trench. Mr. Optional comes back with Mac. We got almost a whole little switch here. And can they combat all of them Claymores? Because you know, Runaway and Trench with Claymores? Oh my God. That's going to be, that's going to be hard. I just see a barrage of Claymores all over the field. And we all know that Asian one loves himself some Claymores. <sighs> Asian one's got to be the king of, of the clay, setting the Claymores. It's got to be the king. Last round. I'm strong. What a what a strategy right now. <laughs> Claymore City. Miss Killer Bunny has the bomb. I mean, technically, if you think about it, you have claymores with both individual. You can just set claymores on both spots, you know? Yep. You really could. Slow him down. You can completely lock Let's down. Lock this down. Point. Seven claymores between the two. That Miss Killer Bunny doing that that strategy she used in the uh, in the road league with running around with the bomb in hand. Craziness, absolutely craziness. one claymore i already there know i didn't get to see it but it was there this option was right there to revive uh miss killer bunny throws the knife miss killer bunny down again that beeping of that knife is always a scary thought mr optional with the revives Richie pushes ahead. Got Mr. Optional on the run. Twenty seconds to plant the bomb. Ten seconds. Ah, uh, they gotta hold him off from planting the bomb. I think they are. I don't oh, think no. they're going to be able to get it. Contract and the irritating agitators take the win and move on in the tournament. Well done, Mr. Optional, Asian one, Frenchie. If you guys, uh, Miss Killer Bunny, you guys want to come in for a post interview, you guys are more than welcome. If not, I completely understand as well. Both, both job to both of you guys. You guys have been great, great teams, great teams. Phenomenal, phenomenal. All righty, let's get, uh, let's get. All right, so the next team on the list is Vision and Hike Diesel versus Mommy. So we need Mommy to show up. Can you hear me? I oh, can. Like well Bunny done, Miss Killer Bunny. Well done. Hi, sorry. I had to figure out how to turn my mic on. <laughs> you did you did great. It was a great thing. Well, how did you feel about that whole deal? I uh, first of all, I banned my main on accident it wasn't on purpose i don't know what was going on with my controller but i banned scorch and i'm a scorch main and so when i banned her i was like oh shit yeah i pretty much lost this one because then i tried to pick ronin and it wouldn't let me pick ronin so <laughs> the only person it made me pick um uh whatever his name is but <laughs> that's how you tell, tell that i don't play him that much <laughs> but well, um gg's on that one and the asian one is amazing he, he doesn't miss <laughs> he's got some nasty claymores too i know i've been i've ate him myself <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i ate a couple of his 
throws that he threw at me and he was on point but um gg's to mr optional for uh coming in and playing with me so i wasn't alone definitely definitely mm -hmm. well we do appreciate you uh we know you did really well during the singles uh road company tournament appreciate you being a part of this one and uh uh and there'll be more to come so thank you again for coming in and uh appreciate you and uh uh glad glad to have you in here so yeah thank you so much for having me and i enjoyed being part of the um the taco um tourney so thank you uh, thank you you have a great rest of your day you too bye frenchy uh uh asian if you want to come in while you're at it we are waiting for mommy to show up we got hita and yazing i don't have them on my friends list right now so please let us know if you're in the chat so we can get you in on a match. But we've got Vision of Madness who are here. I don't know how to say their names, but Anybody in chat knows them, friend request, please let them, let them know that they're up on deck right now so we can get them in here. The team name is Mommy, is the next team that's up on deck. We are waiting to hear anything back from... From them. Frenchie, I did see you come in. Asian one, I seen you come in. Hey, what's up? What's you going guys on? played phenomenal. You guys had a great strategies as your guys' play. Well, you know, Asian one is the strategic master. <laughs> and um, and I'm his able sidekick at times. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we, you know, we have strategies. We're going to have strategies because we're that kind of person, aren't we? But I um, oh, enjoyed the game. Loved the game. Uh, thanks, Mrs. Killy Bunny and, um, and Mr. Optional. Thanks for stepping in because otherwise we might not have had a game. So that was, that was enjoyable. Thank you. Absolutely. You guys played phenomenal. And I tell you what, I learned a little bit more about Talion today. Um, as far as I didn't know, he could retract his, uh, his, his items or his abilities. Like that's, yep, he can, that's insane. He can do it from a distance. That is as part of his uh, thing is he has like magnetic gloves. Mm -hmm. and so like, if he wanted to, he could pick up a, a different gun from far away too. That is absolutely insane. That's crazy. Like, I mean, I seen you retract the C4 and I seen somebody else do it earlier today. And uh, yeah, it was absolutely crazy, man. That was you guys. You guys played phenomenal. And Frenchie, dude, your shots were spot on. You just, you just, you ate your, you ate your, uh, you ate a good breakfast today. I could tell, man. You did great. You did phenomenal, <laughs> man. I loved the uh, the teamwork. At one point in the match, Mr. Optional was coming up to Asian, wanted to hit him with the tomahawk, and Frenchie was right there in the window to pick him off. It was awesome teamwork. Uh, yeah, we 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 work well together, and uh, yeah, it, just just awesome. I love love playing it. The, the advantage with that rude boy is because obviously the, the solos tournament we did, the solos league we did, was um, you know very much the the standard rogues with the standard guns. Um, fortunate enough to have the Riptide this time with Trench, and then it makes makes all that difference, you know, because you're I, you're used to the gun, and uh, yeah, you can you can really home in on those shots. And I did point that out. I did see mm. that, which was really oh. cool because um uh that was that was like that was the first thing i seen too like it was a great great deal um as far as uh trying to combat and now a different rogue with a different gun which is which was which was great and that that gun does fire super fast like extremely yeah, nice fast so um you guys did phenomenal uh renegade do you have anything else for this team here I don't think so. All right. I'm excited to see you guys next week uh, in the in the rounds to come. Good job, guys, to both of you. Brilliant. Thanks, guys. Good job yep. to you, too. Oh, you're too thank sweet. You, you. You're too sweet. Thank you. Okay, I did get a friend request from somebody. Um, I'm looking to see where it is.
I'm looking to see where it is. Uh, not seeing it on. Is it Deaf Man? I'm ge I'm gonna guess this is. Uh, no, that's not him, right? I thought I got a friend request from one of them. I thought I got a friend request from one of them, so we can get this the mommy team. All right, that's where it is. Uh, R's and J too. Why are they not? They're not showing up for me. I might have to. Oh, here we go. Perfect. 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 All right, we are getting the uh the teams in order. And it is going to be an amazing, amazing, amazing match. We've got Team Mommy with question mark. <laughs> A little inside joke um, with, uh, with that because uh, I apparently I forgot their question mark when I was setting up the teams. Uh, versus this is madness. This, oh, this vision is madness. Um, with Hike Diesel... Ike Diesel coming in and um, being a uh, champion for the for Miss Madness. So we are getting everything set up, and let's dive in. Okay, just need a double, double J. Yep, there we go. Okay, we've got the teams in. And I did, s okay, I got the teams in. We've got Mommy on the right side. This vision is madness on the left side. Here we go, guys. Exciting stuff. And next up on deck, our final match. Of the day is ripping and zipping versus Demolition. the monk. Stop the enemy from planting the bomb. So Oh, ripping and zipping on top. Okay. Got it. Sorry, I will change that. <laughs> Sorry. I thought it was just ripping and zipping, but ripping and zipping on top. Looks like uh, we got Bommy, we got Dallas and Seeker on the right side, and we've got Scorch and uh, Phantom on the left. Interesting. Ooh. I've never seen Vision play Phantom. I've never seen Hike Diesel on Cram. Exciting, exciting. And this I've is why never to throw a uh, curveball at us right here, I think. <laughs> I've never seen Mommy play at all. So this is all new new fresh tacos involved. Been a lot of new tacos in this. This is so so it's just awesome. it's just exciting. It's just so exciting that we can we can bring people together and have fun and uh, and have a good time. So like guys also if uh, if you're not following Miss Miller Ray, she also puts together some tournaments and uh things as well. So it's good to uh oh my god. It's good to uh good to get a hold of her <laughs> and let her know that uh that uh, uh, you know, if you guys want to reach out or play Rogue with, she's a sweat. Check her out. And I seen I seen somebody using Doctor Disrespect skin, and I love Doctor Disrespect. So that's uh, that's awesome. Like that's hard, but I do like this Phantom Nurses outfit. Man, this is this is this cute. It's very cute. <laughs> it's very cute. All right, here we go. We got Vision and Hike Diesel on your left. 
Mommy, team of mommy on your right. You think these guys have been uh, keeping track of how the games have been going today? Checking the strategies of the map. Oh. Ooh, that was quick. Super quick. Pike is already down. That was quick. Gun down vision. Oh, that was quick. Man, that was so quick. Good team, mommy. Looks like this is a good team. Got a uh, next round up right now. I do like that phantom outfit. That is that's cute. That is cute. Looks like the the team of mommy here is a little split up, covering uh, both bomb locations. Oh. One of them sees visions wow. here. Wow, vision barely hurt. alive. All friendlies wow. and then just these nothing guys, but headshots these on These guys the, are on cleaning the up some sweats. Woo! Man. You know, vision though did prepare with uh, with a different partner as far as uh, going in today, so that's got to be in his mind a little bit. Pike being a noble man and stepping up and being the champion. But so far, I do appreciate all the participants. It has been good, clean fun all day. We love the uh, the, the good, respectful gameplay that we've had from everybody today. Oh, looks like uh, the seeker for mommy did get a reveal on on one of the. Uh, I don't remember if it was visions or cram that he saw, but he saw one of them. I don't understand why visions going up and throwing that reveal right away like that. He's exposing himself a lot, but mommy came to play. They definitely did. Tough match, tough match. Next up on deck is we have our final match of the day and we have The monks versus ripping and zipping next up. Tough matches, tough matches. It's like Team of Mommy's kind of teamed up here. Yep, Team Mommy up Pretty here. Good. We got a peek at, at, uh, at Graham. Oh no, Ooh, Graham got double sandwiched man. on the side. Vision's all alone. Ugh. They crushed God. Us. Wow. So tough. Tough, tough, tough team is definitely a sweat mommy mommy's a team to look out for ladies and gentlemen as 
uh... What do you think we gotta do? We gotta do some kind of adjustment, right? Like, it's gotta There's, be... It's definitely gotta be an adjustment. I think an thing. adjustment. I don't know. I don't know if, uh... Vision playing Phantom is a is a it's a it's a rough go right now. I know he wants to use those sensors, but he's been exposing himself trying to throw them. Got some firing going on the other side. Minute left to plant the bomb. I didn't know you could get up here, but we got a mommy player sitting around the edge of this boat here. Oh, wow. Yeah, up on the ledge. That was kind of reminds me of when High Diesel used that ledge shot. That window. Yeah, that window shot. Yeah. In the road movie. 30 seconds. 35 seconds to plant the bomb. Bombs drop down again. Man. Run it again. Wow. Just tearing them apart. Uh, they gotta have an answer, right? I mean... You haven't seen a shutout all day. Not a team shutout. Hustle and yeah. uh, Short shut out a 1v2. Right, right. But, yeah. I think, I it's think, uh, I think, uh... Vision is just lighting up in chat right now, I'm sure. I think there's going to be a definite adjustment made uh, if, if they can't get a, a, a win. Oh, yeah. Here. No, uh, Frenchy, Frenchy and uh, Frenchy and Asian one did a shout out, shout out too. Oh, they did. They did. They did. Yeah, they did a shout out. Yeah, so this will be the this will be the third shout out of the day. Keep in mind, we are all family and uh, taco families here. So regardless of who wins at the end, I expect there to be a great port sportsmanship. Man, just wow. on point. Just shredding them. Okay, throw there for vision. Crushed us. Wow, crushed man, us mommy is, mommy is absolutely a team though. They are absolutely hit him hard. Well done, guys. Well done. All right. See if there's going to be some, See if gonna be some adjustment or changes. It's like glimpse, glimpse and, cannon. and cannon. Oh, what a combination. Oh, That's oh, okay. Oh, Switched oh, it. Glimpse and Dallas. Glimps in Dallas, man. I was thinking Glimps and Cannon. That's got to be overkill. Ooh. Ooh, I, I, <laughs> That'd even, be a I even I even puckered up a little bit because of that. Okay. Now it looks like Vision's going with Seeker. And Why is Vision playing people he doesn't normally play with? This is just insane. Interesting strategy. I am Vision. very confused. I'm very confused. These are, these are not Vision's... Uh... Mains I would all. expect Vision to be Vi or uh, Ronin, and Hike Hike uh, Hike's bringing out the two time baby. Hike is bringing out the two time, so. Let's see if we can uh, see. If there's a different strategy playing out here for. Uh, Visions and cram. All right, hike. Come on. You know you, you you got my gun, so I gotta I gotta root for you a little bit here. I I, I know we're supposed to be biased, but I gotta I gotta root for my gun here. This is my gun. Gotcha. Vision going with seeker though. That just that's crazy. Mommy on the That's opposite it. side. Oh. 
Bomb's active. Bomb Find has been playing it on that side. Right in the middle of the doorway. We've seen some sneaky plants like that before in the Rogue League. We did. They got him down. They got one down. Yeah, he's going for the defusal. He's got the cover. Oh, oh they got vision. Oh, man, he downed him just right at the end. Running out of time. Oh, no. Bob's going to explode. Contracts a bust. Oh, hey. man. What a... What a match. Valiant effort. Valiant you, that effort. was a good, that last round was a great round. That was a great, great round. Good job, guys. Mommy, good job. Uh, well played. This vicious madness, well done. Good job. You guys did phenomenal. Good job. All right. If you guys want to come in for an interview, you guys are more than welcome. If not, that's yeah, fine, that's too. I completely understand. Like got uh, that was uh, interesting. <laughs> oh man, that looks so tough. That looks so. I just, tough. I don't, I don't. I guess I don't know the game good enough to combat that. But we were just getting revealed right and left, and then I mean, I, I, I just have no answer for that. But I mean, their shots were spot on too. So when they know where you're at and they have shots to get you, I, I mean, you're in trouble. So. Yeah. Hello. Hey, welcome in. Welcome in. Hey, good job, you two. You guys did phenomenal. You guys are you guys are some sweats, man. I thank you. Yeah, yeah that was rough. That was rough. Congratulations. Yeah. To you I just want to ask you with that last arrow. Was that did you try to bounce it there to kill me or were you just trying to reveal? Oh, I was just trying to reveal, dude. Uh yeah, that was uh yeah. that was uh that was great. You guys did phenomenal. Um uh, mommy, you guys are you guys are tough, man. Oh man, you made me you made me scared. So, guys, you guys did great, and uh, I can't wait to see you guys go forward. Um, Renegade, do you have anything for these these this lovely team? Hey, good job, awesome, awesome play. Vision, what was the what was the strategy about switching? Because you didn't play with anybody you normally played with. The strategy for Phantom was I've been playing her off stream and I liked her sticky sensors because they revealed location, which became a huge key in this game, apparently, on both sides. Um, the strategy of using Seeker, whom I've never used before today, was, I don't know, just to kind of copy what they were doing because it seemed like we were boned anyway. So Okay. <laughs> so you just tried... Tried to learn from the master of the seeker, then is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Uh, hey, the sensors, uh, I just want to say something real quick. The sensors are like really good to reveal, like you were doing to see if someone's on corners, but when you do it, you can't full peek your body. Yeah, I did notice that too. You you were like way out there when you were throwing them. Um, but uh, I get which I get, I 100% what you're saying though. Like, yeah, vision, I you threw me off, man. I expect you to play Ronin. Or I expected you to play uh, Vi. Um, so by playing Phantom and, and but you know at the end I could tell you were just having a good time. So it was oh, uh, yeah. it, it was fun either way. Even though I lost every single round and got killed. <laughs> that last round, fun. that last round was really really good, man. Because I thought you were gonna pull off the bomb <laughs> defusal, but uh, but uh, they just had that good shot there and just took you out so fast. That, who, yeah, who was playing? I missed my shot. Yeah, who was playing? Who was playing Glimpse? Who was playing Glimpse? Me. Oh my Hida. God, Hida, you you are amazing, Glimpse. Like I don't want to, I don't ever want to cross paths with you and Glimpse. You you did phenomenal. So, good job to both of you guys. All the all all you teams, man. You guys have been great, great. I appreciate you guys. I will have the uh, hopefully the uh, the next uh, round posted, and depending on how fast we go, because we went fast early day, we may finish the tournament out next week. So we'll see what happens. But I appreciate you guys for being involved and uh, definitely, uh, definitely connect and keep uh, keep letting us know uh, when you guys are playing so we can we can be there because uh, it's all about love and tacos. So appreciate you guys. Hey, well, GGs. Yeah, Good GGs. Game, guys. Good luck. Yep. Have a great rest of your guys' day.
Uh, Hike, are you sticking around for this last match to commentate with us? Yeah, I'll hang out. Perfect. I got to lick my wounds for a little bit, but I'll hang out. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Let's get these uh, these last last uh, last uh, participants in here. We've got the Monks on the left side, a team of Twizzle and Monkey Tart. And then we've got ripping and ripping and zipping. So on top. Uh, no, no, it's just ripping and zipping. They were corrected me. They corrected me. Oh, okay. It is just ripping and zipping. All right. So let's get these uh these guys in here and watch these guys play. I've never seen ripping and zipping play before. So if you guys uh, please send me your friend request so we can get you guys in and uh, and uh, get you playing. So God, man, that looks so tough. God, that looks so tough. Oh, you just sit there and you just get revealed and you, you'd have nowhere to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, even then, I, I feel I feel like I was outgunned, hundred percent. Their accuracy was was crazy good. I got a friend request from one of them, but I didn't show up. Yeah, I'm seeing it. There we go. There we go. All right. Ooh, I like his uh, his little emo. He's got a gingerbread man. I like that. I like that a lot. We got two new, two, two new more tacos. New tacos. Two more new tacos nice. coming in. Uh, if you want to add your buddy in here, uh, vicious. Want to add add your buddy? Yep. There we go. We got double J in here, and the match, the last match of the uh, the uh, the day here. Here we go. We've got the monks ripping and zipping. Here we go. Let's have a great, great match. And uh, you guys have made this a phenomenal day. You guys really have. This has been a lot of action. And uh, just it just makes me rethink that I'm terrible at this game. <laughs> Honestly, man, you guys are so good. It's All a right. humbling experience. <laughs> we got Double J and Vicious. I'm guessing they must be cleaned up with the RNZ. You guys are going to have to let us know. Going to have to let us know. Oh, wrong game mode. oh, oh, I did do the wrong game mode. I did the wrong game. My bad, my bad, my bad. Yep, wrong game mode. I think I, I picked strike out on accident. Go back to lobby real quick. Let's go back to lobby. Um, My fault, my fault. It was bound to happen at least once today, right? I mean, it, it does happen. We're all human. <laughs> you guys want to back out of that match so we can get you guys in the right one? We will. Uh, we will definitely, definitely uh, get that going. Just waiting for Monkey and them to load back in here. I know uh, we're trying here. So what's some of the gameplay you guys have been seeing Oh man, that you're been, enjoying? Yeah, there's been a little bit of everything. That fire, man, the Scorch play today has been great. Um, I'm loving the watching through the fire and just seeing seeing these these guys just use different... And also the way different rogues played. I mean, the last match, man, seeing Seeker being played, that was phenomenal because I've been on the fence about buying him. I really want to get him because I also kind of want that that Rambo skin because, you know, it's Rambo. Um, but uh, <laughs> but uh, I've been really excited about that um, as far as uh, 
Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop. Cancel. 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 How do I cancel? Cancel, cancel. It threw me back in the... What's going on here? It threw me back in, uh, in, on the team. On the team. It threw me over there, too. Yeah. What's going on, Rogue? Stop it. We couldn't have a full day of no issues. I know, right? <laughs> now, now, now Rogue wants to do stuff. All right, come on, Rogue. Be nice. Be nice. Come on, come on. Yeah, it bugged out. Yeah, I might have to start. I'm going to start my console actually over again. Try it one more time. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I appreciate you guys. Uh, I see a hype train going on. I appreciate all you guys that are doing that. All the support and love goes right back into the channel. It's all for you guys. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so, so much, guys. Every little bit helps. Every little bit helps. And also, with me being a full-time content creator, this is what I do. So, I stream every day but Wednesday. Um, so, I appreciate you guys and all of that love. Um, and I do put a lot of time and effort into getting the teams together and all of this ready for all of you guys. So thank you so, so, so much. So not that the day is over yet, but what are you guys' thoughts on play of the day? Oh man, Ooh, I might have to rewatch the entire, the entire uh, yeah. thing all over again. But I know that beginning, that very, very first, uh, that very, very first match with the rocket, with the rope, with the rocket shot was pretty clutch. Um, yeah, it was pretty good. I know Siebert's grenade was so fast. That could have been play of the day. I mean, there's so many, 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 many opportunities that, that, that it could be um man absolutely insane absolutely insane I, I'll, I'll probably go back and rewatch it all honestly well i'll have to because one i'll get the wins not only will i get the wins i also will have to you know do the bra the brackets and get everything lined up so um yeah we will uh we'll, it'll be it'll be uh it'll be great it'll be really really great to see what what the play of the day is um luckily you know it won't be as as taxing as the rogue league was because i i i you know won't have to go through like probably multiple multiple matches and keep keep score on um on uh like points and stuff which is great i'm so glad we did not do a point system for the tournament um yeah. <clears throat> so, but other than that, it is a, uh, it is, it was, there's a lot of great play. Um, there was a lot of strategy as far as pinching people. Um, I see RNZ. He said his game was bugged out a little bit. So we're going to, we're going to give him a, a chance to get his game together. Not to mention, you know, it was kind of probably my fault as well. So, um, we'll, we'll RNZ, just let us know when you're ready. We know you're here working, so don't, don't feel bad. Um, but thank you guys for, for that level three hype train. I appreciate it. You guys are amazing. And uh and I can't I can't I can't say enough on, on how appreciative I am of you guys. So but other than that, uh no, there was just so many good plays and so many new players that like I wanna say my favorite match so far has been the Seber and uh, or not Seber. Was it Seber? Seber and yeah, Aqua and Gomac and Seber and uh, Moss. I think that was just such a straight balls to the wall, nitty gritty, right down there match. I really loved watching that match. No, um, that match was, that match was fun. I I loved that one. That was just such a good match. Um, but you know we will uh we'll see. All right, looks like we have everything in order here, guys. Hopefully uh, everything works and we are going to, uh, I was really, you know, the thing is, is also I was really excited. I was kind of hoping that matchup between I am here today versus uh, Aqua Stone was going to happen because 
Aqua, I am here today, came in out of nowhere during the singles rogue tournament. Or, sorry, Rogue League. And, man, he subbed in and just just was nasty. But here we go. Matt, last match of the day. We've got the Monks versus Ripping and Zipping. It's like uh, RNZ band Ronin and Twizzle band uh, Glimpse. Ooh. Mm, who's Monkey going to go after? Monkey's going to go with Vi. Okay, we got Monkey as Vi, Twizzle as Chalk, Runaway as Double J, and Vicious as Talion. Talion is a... Uh, has been a, a very popular character today as far as picking. He really has been. Very popular character. I can't believe we finished through all these matches this fast. I honestly thought it was going to take a lot longer, which that's a good thing to know because now we're finishing so fast like we are. That means... Next time when we have like 50 teams in a tournament, <laughs> we can we can just go through, you know, so many matches in a day. So there could be a good chance we will be doing all of the matches next week for the rest of the rest of the week. So or for the rest of the day to finish the tournament. So we'll see what happens. I think it's a fair assessment to allow 20 minutes per match. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I mean, that's kind of a generalized average, but. I appreciate y'all guys for participating and being here. Last match of the day. Let's do it. Oh, I think I'm watching the wrong team. There we go. Alrighty. Looks like, uh, Monkey sporting the uh, the look. Oh, almost stepped into a mine right away. Twizzle's got the bomb. Got a good fight going on here. Oh, they had a shot that claymore the is right there. there. They are toying with that claymore. Monkey's down. Whizzle with a great shot. A great grenade throw. Oh! They crushed us. Run it again. Well done, wow. guys. That was a good, good match. Good, good match. I'm definitely gonna have to go back and watch a lot of this stuff. Absolutely. Because it was just. There's so many different people that are new, you know, and their their play style is different. The way they utilize weapons and perks are different. Like, there's just a lot to take in. It's, yeah, it's a right. phenomenal, phenomenal. Like, it's just, it's great because I get to see how different rogues get played too, which helps a lot. Because, you know, right. that, that that definitely makes me feel on who I need to, who to pick, but... All right, Plus, looks I like... can go back and watch the other view of me getting my butt kicked. That'll be a fun <laughs> experience. So, monkey, uh, monkey has the bomb right now and uh, heading in. Looks like Fizzle's on the other side of the map. Like we got ripping and zipping, they're covering both uh, bomb both locations. Both areas, yeah, I see that. Bomb getting planted. Taking a run. Coming around on the side. Oh no, monkey! Monkey actually threw his grenade at himself, burned him up a little bit. Monkeys gets one. Twizzle's trying to figure out where it was. Oh no! Can he get the revive off? Oh, oh man, it was that was a good play though. It was a good play. 
That was a good gun battle. Monkey Absolutely. had the health regeneration just in time to get in that one gun fight to take one down, but just didn't have enough for the next one. Absolutely, yeah. Not only that, I think uh, I think they had the uh, the uh, other, like, just a better angle, the double J did. So, double J, man. I feel like I'm calling, like, the wrestler double J, like, like you know, you know old, old slap nuts. Like, I just feel like is. I'm right there with you. <laughs> Not sure how I feel about it, though. <laughs> They're going to have to let us know what RNZ stands for uh, after this, because they both have the oh, same name. Probably it's probably the, uh, the team name that they picked for the duos. Rippin' and Zippin'. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess you're right. I guess I didn't even think about it like that. I wonder if that's the name they go by all the time, though. So, I mean, it's in their name, so I figured. Right. It makes me wonder if maybe they play, like, high competitive games, too, then. It's very possible. Monkey up on top. Oh, Monkey trying his hardest. Twizzle has the bomb two on one. Oh, okay, here we go. Ripping and zipping, ripping and zipping. The firmly grasp of slip line. Got it. Thirty-three seconds. Twizzle, he's gotta plant that bomb. I noticed a lot of teams just like to hang out on the seaside of that back map. Oh no! Yeah. He should have enough time to revive, but oh us. man, them claymores are rough. I think yeah. Twizzle feels the same way about Runaway as I do too, though, man. Any Runaway oh. is a good Runaway. As uh, RNZ Lynx is uh, schooling us here as far as uh, the name behind the name. So it must be uh, R RNZ Lynx must be a part of this team as well. So I wonder if they play all competitive, like they have a whole team that they run with. Definitely sounds like they could. Okay. 20, 30 person community for Rogue. Nice. That briefcase is just nasty. Oh, yeah. Being able to refill yeah. your thing. Yeah, this is... You know, and the thing is, is with the duos, there's such a variable because, you know, you're... You're playing off of each other's abilities. You know, you're kind of hoping that they've got something, you've got something. Right. Just a... Crazy thing, you know, like... Runaway is such a such a great attacker and support character. All right, Twizzle's got one down. Forty nine seconds. I think he's opening. He goes and sees if he's gonna come get his friend. Oh out. man, that shot! Nasty wow. shot! Just spot on. Woo! Tough. So tough. Wow. I mean, again, these new, these brand new fresh tacos, they, uh, they know how to they play. Put on a they know how to All play. The, the new tacos have definitely put on a show. We definitely need to run, like, some customs in demolition with these new guys so they can actually kind of teach us some stuff. I mean, if they're willing, of course, you know, maybe yeah. they just want to, but it would definitely be a, a whole new perspective because, you know, I'm definitely just a team deathmatch running gun kind of guy, you know, and yeah. I, I'm, I'm way out of my element with these guys because they are damn good. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the play is just great to see. 
Like, I, I normally am kind of more about this game to play and have fun. But, uh, these guys are taking this to a whole nother level. They, they pinched them both wow. from the both sides. Time. Just both sides. Both angles of that. And me as being, you know, not very uh, visual on who I was watching. But I seen one side on, on my side and Renegade on the other. So... Ooh. Uh, oh, God, RNZ yeah. Link says in chat that he would be, they'd be more than willing to help. So of that's course. awesome. Awesome. The, uh, the, the hard thing about duos, I think, is, you know, when, you, when you're playing a different game mode and there's more, you know, three or four or six people on a team, you don't really feel as pinched. But when you just have two people, I don't know what it is, if it's just the dynamic of having less people, but I actually felt like I was put in a spot where I was way more uncomfortable than I normally would be. Yeah, absolutely. It's kind of interesting yeah. why that is, but I really, really enjoyed the, uh, like I said, you know, and and it's a whole different verdict because, like, you know, when we had the with well, the solo rogue league going on, you know, it was a, uh, you know, Reddit. you had that sweatiness of really, really just kind of like you're by yourself, you know, and. Ooh. Oh my god. They're tough, man. They're Been tough. Run it again. Ripping and zipping is a team. We're attacking now. Wow. You, got, you guys are playing so good. Monkey. Twizzle, you guys are you guys are you guys are putting up a fight, man. You guys are doing your best. I know you are. I've been in your shoes, trust me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Looks like we're changing up a little bit. Yeah, I'm Monkey's going five. with uh, Dima. Vicious is going with Dallas. And Double J is going with Phantom. And Twizzle's going to go with... Who's he going to go with? I think there's some conversations being had right now on which Maybe. road they want to go with. Maybe. Oh, he's sticking That's with up. Chalk. Sticking with Chalk. God, you guys are playing so good, and thank you guys for being good sportsmanship on all day. The sportsmanship has been there all day. There has been one toxic move. That right there is a win all in itself, and I appreciate that. For sure, because there's been some blowout matches, so there was plenty of opportunity to, to do that, but it was no good. No one's rubbed it in. Everybody's been, been awesome. <clears throat> All right. The other thing about Chalk we were talking about is, you know, I always just used him for his self revive. I never really used his adrenaline, but that that 170 health for just even that split moment, I know it ticks down in increments of five, but that's huge. Absolutely. It is. It really insane. Is. Absolutely insane. It can be a, it can be definitely be a, be a game changer if, if it gets utilized at the right time. Absolutely insane. Yeah, it's great. All great. I love watching Twizzle play chalk. I really do. It does deplete over time, though, it looks like. Yeah, but if it he does. didn't have that, he would have died right. I mean, he, you know, if he wouldn't have had that. Bombs, active. bombs, bombs planted. Monkey out. by himself. Good game, guys. Good game. Wow, I can't wait till this. Uh, these guys start. When we start getting into the 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 later on rounds of this, man, I can't wait for next week. Already, oh, it's gonna be amazing, crazy, crazy, yeah, crazy. You, you put some of these shutout teams up against each other, man. You're gonna see some fireworks. It's gonna be crazy. Oh, it's gonna be explosive. If you guys want to come in with a post interview, uh, Monkey, Double J, Vicious, uh, Twizzle, you guys are more than welcome to. Love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. See if anybody pops in here for a minute. Got double, got J. double J in. Okay, yeah, double J. Oh my God. Twizzle, hey, welcome in, guys. Double J, welcome in. Double J, you are amazing. 
Wow. Wow. Oh, and we got Monkey in here. Monkey, Twizzle, you guys fought so hard. I'm proud of you guys so much. You guys did you did so good. Yeah, hi. It's just time to go back, get back to the drawing board, get back on the grind, because obviously I'm not the, I'm not the level where I need to be. And then me next time me and Monkey will just come back. We'll just come back better, you know? Absolutely. Absolutely. You guys you guys you guys played hard. I mean Again, you guys didn't know what you're going up against. You had uh, you had two individuals that uh, learning through chat that they run together as a team as far as N R and Z, and I'm, <laughs> and, and I'm sure you guys probably play really competitive, don't you guys? Um, yeah, yeah, we're pretty competitive. Yeah, as I gonna... say, you, <laughs> you guys, you guys look great. Um, and you know, we we appreciate you being here. Uh, Monkey, what, what, how'd you feel about everything? Um, they were so quick. You, you couldn't move. You couldn't even blow your nose without them seeing where you were. So it was it was very quick. Um, I mean, we tried different strategies and nothing paid off. And uh, yeah, it was it was a real eye opener. Yeah, I mean, they there's been so many teams that have played that has made me scared about playing rogue ever again like you guys <laughs> you guys did phenomenal like i i honestly thought twizzles like a sweat when i go up against him and i and i joke yeah. and have fun about it um but man you guys you guys are you if, that's a great team it's just a great team um i got a kill so i'm happy <laughs> yeah 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 absolutely absolutely and uh that's a winner in and of itself <laughs> yeah, vicious man yeah. you you're you're the man dude you were you were just on point with everything man this is great great deal and and i'm so glad that you guys got to come in and be a part of part of everything it was it was phenomenal you yep, yeah, thanks so much man yeah, we're well. I will have everything out for next week, so you guys can continue in the runs. Uh, Renegade hike, you got anything for these guys? Oh man, uh, excellent I, job! I'm just ready for when you uh, face these other guys that are <laughs> definitely out of my caliber. They're going to be some awesome games. I can't wait. It should be fun. I can't wait. Next thanks. Week's going to be fun. Yep. Thanks again, guys. I appreciate you so much. You guys yes, have a great you. rest of your day. Monkey, Good game, guys. Monkey, I love you, Twizzle. I, I'll always love you, bro. I promise. And uh, boy, Double J and Vicious, thanks for coming into the Taco Society and being a taco. We appreciate it. I appreciate you. Yeah, thanks so much for having us. Yeah, you guys have a great day. You too. That's always the best thing about a tournament is just as it progresses, you're only going to get better better content, you know? Ab right. Absolutely. Absolutely. And um, looking for somebody we can raid out to oh oh easy i just found out who we can do it to um but yes guys uh wrapping up final thoughts of the day uh renegade what'd you think man final thoughts wow just like <laughs> just wow the 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 amount of great games that we had great matchups with everybody the i was thoroughly impressed by all of the new tacos that that came in and took part in this tournament like it was awesome loved absolutely loved the the fact that everybody was a sportsman he was using sportsmanship no one was being toxic like it, it was it was all it was awesome to see absolutely and hike man i know you took a match on short notice i do appreciate you and i know you got that new mic and i think it sounds amazing i saw i hear a little bit of a difference of it definitely sounds clear and smooth so yeah we're still messing with it probably worth the money probably not but um thoughts on today i mean you know when we were doing the singles it seemed like you know we'd have like one blowout match but you know there's there's definitely some high caliber teams in this setup now so it's definitely going to be you know uh just a a of SmackDown throwdown battle Royale as it, you know, we kind of weed, not weed out teams, but you know, as these higher caliber teams start to match up, I think we're going to see some pretty high content, high level play. And I'm just, I'm looking forward to it. Um, today was awesome. And I know next week is, is going to be infinitely better just because those guys are going to be going up against each other. So I'm, I'm super stoked for next week. 
Absolutely. And if you want to come in and announce next week with us too, we'd really love for you to to come in and do it, man. I'd really appreciate it. If not, sure. I understand how uh, schedules are. And my final thoughts, man, I think everybody was great. I think the uh, sportsmanship was right there. Uh, definitely, definitely, I feel like the match of the day as far as in terms of closeness and excitement, uh, they were all exciting. But I really did like the Seabert Moss versus uh, Aqua Gomac. I really love that match. Um, I will cycle back through and uh, we will uh, talk amongst ourselves on who gets play of the day. Um, and we'll post that up. I will have try to have everything up, hopefully by Tuesday. Um, but uh, guys, uh, if you don't follow any of these individuals that are playing with us, definitely follow. Um, also, hot on the mic, please give uh, Renegade a follow, Hike Diesel a follow. I'm Rude Boy Mitch. Um, and we are going to be raiding out here and signing off to one of the uh, individuals that played today. So uh, stick around for the raid. Show her some love. It's my sister, Hustle Dice. We all know Hustle. And uh yeah, let's do it. Let's uh let's show her some love. Uh appreciate See you guys, you guys for week. being here.